Howdy y'all, my name is Price and welcome to the Cube Escape Collection. That's right y'all, I have played the Rusty Lake games for quite some time. Y'all have seen them show up on my channel. Uh, and the Cube Escape games are the original Rusty Lake games, kind of the ones that led to the modern Rusty Lake series. Um, I think a lot of them started even out as like browser games, um, or at least like indie games on like a very um, minor scale. And then they've grown into what they are. So. I figured, let's go back, let's play the originals, and um, see where everything goes. So, let's click on Seasons. It's the first one. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Okay, Spring, Summer, Fall, Winter. Okay. What do I remember? Spring 1964. Okay, we're familiar with this. Use the arrows to move around, okay. Oh, we can look at the ceiling in this one, because it's literally a cube. Okay. So we can move our clock. Sounds about right. That's locked. Okay, we got some matches. Little bugs, it looks like, as well. What do we got up going on the flower up here? Nothing yet? Okay. Y'all know how it goes. It's an escape room. We're looking around for things. Okay, what about the phone? Okay. All that we touch, we change. Okay, the flower can't do anything with yet. We've looked at the clock. That's locked. Bird. Okay, bird's got a lock. Got a little feeding bowl kind of thing, it looks like. Light on, off. What goes up? Aha! I was like, there's a light above me. Alright, so we got a piece of a photo. Okay, there's a lady out here. Oh! Too heavy to lift, it said. And we got another piece of the photo. Okay. Oh, too heavy to lift to open the window. Got it. Wait, she's there again. And now she's gone. Okay. And now she... Okay. Interesting. What do we got up here? It's like an egg cup, right? Okay. Can I drag it over, maybe? No. Nothing I can put water in yet. Got an oven. Yeah, I was going to say, I know we're going to do something with that. Okay. Maybe I need to, like, that's stuck. Okay. Got a pot, a log, and bird food. Okay. Well, let's go to the top of the stove, at least. I'm sure we can put the pot on the stove. Oh, wait, no. Pot underneath here. Like, I don't know if I need to put a certain amount of water in here. Pot with water. Okay. Let's put that on the stove. Uh, we'll leave that there for now. We're assuming that's what we need that for. Okay, oh wow, we got some things. Here's a cube. What is this? And we got photo pieces. Picture's not complete, okay. Well, we know that that's gonna go up there. This is gonna go down here. Alright, we're missing one or two pieces. Got a candle. Well, can light that candle. Whatever that might do. Did I just click it? Okay. And we have a log, so you need to remember- oh! I wonder. Okay. And then should I light the log as well? Yeah. It's gonna- something's gonna happen up here. Uh, alright, what do we got? Prozac. Egg to cube. Mental health and fishing. Can I eat Harvey's eggs? Is there something on the background here, or was that just so I can... ...see these things? Well, Rusty Lake. Mental health and fishing. That's where we'll go. Oh, by the way, um, y'all know I've been doing the the FNAF lore videos. I'm working on the second one. Bad reception. Okay, so we don't know what to do with this yet. Oh, photo piece. Um, I've been thinking that one of the ones I will do after... FNAF is I would love to do the Rusty Lake series. One of y'all mentioned it, but I had already been thinking of it. It's on a little list that I've written because I'm like, there's lore here that is difficult to put together if you're not, like, really into it. All right. We built that. Aha! What is this? Okay. So I think the fireplace was, like, lighting that up for us. Now we know there's a cube spot there, but we need the egg. Right? So I have a spoon and I have matches. Oh, yeah. Bird, bird feed, right? Yeah. There you go, my friend. You're gonna poop or something. 
Egg. Okay. Can I put the egg here? Yes. It's uncooked. Did I put it in there? I did. Okay. How do I... I turn you on, oven. I feel like I'm supposed to do something there. Nothing in there. Because we've got the egg cup. Uncooked egg. How do I turn you on? I mean, unless I'm supposed to put it, like, in the fire, you know? Because, like, what I want to do is I want to do this, and then I want to tap the egg, but it needs to be cooked. And I would assume I'm supposed to boil it, but I need to, like... Pot with water. It's already got water. Pot with egg? No. Pot with water. Oh, do I need to do matches? Is this one of those kind of ovens? No gas. There we go. Gonna show you when it's cooked. Still- okay, it's cooked. Awesome. Cool. I didn't, I've, I've never used a gas stove in my life, okay? I've only ever used electric, so it didn't even occur to me that I should try that. Okay, got a little moth flying around. It's very rusty lake of us. Pew. Okay. Now, is there anything else in here? Oh, gosh. We got the cube. Okay, wow, okay. Cube out of the egg. Where are we going now? Where's where's the cube wall? There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Go cube, go! Black cube. Seasons one, it says. Alright. Is there anything else we have learned? Perhaps this is open now? No. I placed the cube. Oh! Wow, okay, okay, we put the photo back down and then suddenly we could teleport through it. Okay. We lost all our goods. Another photo situation. My favorite song, it says. Okay. Prozac, remember that song, mental health and fishing. Well, we're about to learn that song. Ah, okay, we're gonna need to figure out how to plug it in. Right? Oh! Oh no! Well... I guess that's what we're getting. Messed up tape. Alright, what's up with you? Oh, okay, we need... Can I, like, wrap it together? No. So we need something to connect that to that. Okay. Let me look up. Light switch. Key. Do do. Do I let the bird out? No, wrong key. Okay. So then I'm guessing it's for that guy. Okay, we got a four digit code. Just double checking if there's not a number there. This photo's over here now. Can't do anything with it yet, though. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Okay, anything new? Okay, we got some stuff with this plant is different. And a screwdriver, okay. Oh! Creepy. That's why you always click on stuff. Oh, and I just saw that too. Always click on stuff, y'all. Okay. Love to hear that. Um, we got the clock still. We don't know what time. Oh, hey. Don't know what time it's supposed to be. Um. The Mun. Yes, too heavy to lift. 
all kinds of aware of that. I like looking around in the dark as well as in the light to kind of see the different potential things, you know? Okay, we got you, you, one more piece, one more piece. Uh, oh, let's light the candle, right? Always should. Anything? No. Um, and then real quick, we're gonna try with the candle with the light off, just to see if it, like, casts an interesting light. No. Okay. So then, I'm thinking I probably need to, like, look- yeah! One, four, eight, seven. Fourteen, eighty-seven. Oh! I wasn't ready for that. There will be blood. Oh, wow. I wasn't ready for that one. Okay, one... Four... Eight, seven. I'm assuming it was just backwards, you know? Could also be, like, mirror-dimensioned. Oh, no, hold on. Come on. Ugh. Scramp! Okay. What do we want the scramp for? What are we doing with a scramp? Now I'm confused. Do you want a scramp? No. You don't want scramp. Um, okay. Interest- that- now I'm a little confused. Interesting. Cause like... There's nothing for me to put the scramp in. Can't just throw it on there. Can't just throw it in the water. No. Okay. Well, what else we got? We got a screwdriver. And we got that tape. I could see... Yeah, see, this doesn't connect that up. Yeah, no power. Yeah. Like... Like, if I had the tape cassette thing, I could see winding it. Um... Let's think for a second. What do I want to do with this tape? Yeah, I learned all about that. I'm just gonna mess around with this a little bit. Just wanna see if it changes the outside. No. Okay. And if we look at this again, it's gonna do the same thing. Yeah. Okay. What do I need the shrimp for? Locked. Hmm. Let's figure this out. Hmm. So, like, could I burn this in the fire? Oh my gosh. Totally can. Not what I expected. So that's where the cube goes, obviously. Okay. Well, at least that gets rid of one of the items I have to mess with. Um... Nothing to do up there. What do I want to use a shrimp for? Like, there's nothing else that I'm trying to, like, feed... ...that I can tell, so... How do I open you? Can't be open like that. Guess I'll check all these drawers again. Can I plant the shrimp? No. Okay. We're at a bit of an impasse. Alright, I thought maybe if you close the door or something, or close the window, something might happen. Alright, um... What about you? Screwdriver somewhere around here? Oh! 
We can open it this time. Cooking that scrap. Whoa! Again with this stuff. Okay. The lady in white became the shadow. Got another black cube. What was the screwdriver for? What's the screwdriver for? Before I, like, leave this zone. You know what I mean? Because, like, I'm missing a piece of the photo. I don't want to put this in there just yet. If... There's something else I'm supposed to do. You know what I mean? Like, I could see maybe, like... I just don't want to leave without having done everything. But it also might be one of those ones where I just need to go forward to learn what the limitations are, because I may be overthinking this. Um... Because we didn't even figure out how to do this, either. Oh! Oh! Oh, it was the screwdriver that I needed for that. Oh! Oh, yeah, baby. I'm glad that I went back and looked. It was just the screwdriver. I thought I needed, like, tape or something. My goodness. Okay. Cool. Do that. Okay. I place the cube. Oh, that's right. Close that, and then we go. Boom! Dun dun dun! Okay. Oh, we see blood on the wall. <laughs> oh boy. Let's um look around. Okay, now we got a TV. We had a radio. Now we got a TV. So time is passing, and this is a thing that happens in all of these. I'm afraid I will do something horrible. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of mental health stuff in these games. Yep. Six. So three, six, one, two, four, five, three, two, murder or suicide. That's IV, not VI. Four. Give me that cube. Oh, dear. Oh! Yikes! That's creepy. Gimme, 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 gimme. Why can't I grab you? Why are you floating? Damn, am I gonna need something to catch- Oh, it fell down on the floor. Okay, wowzers. Um... So I need more to light that candle. Uh, we already have the cube. I'm wondering if I could already leave or if I need all the pictures to actually leave. I think maybe you do need all the pictures to leave. Okay, nothing in there. Nothing in there. I was fully expecting blood to come out of that, not gonna lie. Uh, gosh, blood everywhere. Okay. Oh, we can't even hit the switch? Interesting. Too heavy to lift. Okay. We saw the clock set to four, right? So we'll just go ahead and do that anyways. Doesn't necessarily mean it was that right time, but you know. Okay. Okay. The murder weapon, probably. Can I stab the earth? No. Okay. Oh, it's gonna make me kill the bird, isn't it? I hope that's not what I'm supposed to do, but I bet it is. That guy's open, but we got what's in it. Can't do anything about the fire, it's already lit. We can't... Turn the lights on or off. Wow. Because it heard the murder. Told you, I knew it. I knew it. It's the worst. Alright, that's three of our four. Oh. 
the code maybe? 12 10 1971. So maybe it's 1971. Wait. Oh yeah, the safe isn't even here anymore. So 1210197. No, can't do that. 12, 10, 1971. 12, 10. No. Um. Hmm. The past is never dead. Alright, I can't, like, pick up the bird, can I? Like... Oh! Okay! Saw that! Wonder if he's in here with me now? Can't do anything with the bird. It's sad. Um... Can't turn up the lights. There's blood everywhere. Something in that? No. Too hot. Hmm. Like, I could go ahead and put the thing in. But, you know, part of me is like, I don't know, I want to do something else. I want to make sure I get everything. Hmm. Afraid I will do something terrible. Got a knife. Like, we can go ahead and put that in there. I placed the cube. But we're not going to do that yet. It looks like I can click on it, but I want to do whatever else is needed. So, we're going to take our take our time. Look at each screen. Let's check on the edges. Make sure I'm not just missing something hanging out on a corner. It's a very easy thing to do when you got ADHD to the level that I do. Okay. Nothing hiding around here. No, can't lift that anymore. Um, nothing in there. We checked over here. Nothing hiding behind either of these. No. That's stuck. Can I jam it open? No. Anything in here? No. I'll leave this water on for a while while this flood. We're gonna we're gonna leave that going. Bird, anything around you? Should we keep clicking to see. I don't think there is. Windowsill situation. Anything hiding around here? Just see it if like something were to fall. And we can't mess with the light switch. That's the interesting thing to me. It's like this is the one time we can't mess with the light switch. Okay. The past is never dead, it's not even past. And there's like, what can I put in there? Like, it feels like there's got to be something else that I haven't grabbed. You know? How do I open you? You're locked. I don't know of any time that I should mess with. I'm going to keep doing this for a little bit. And if I can't figure it out, then we'll, you know, we'll move on at some point. Where would a time code be? You know? Like, are there numbers in the blood somewhere that give me an idea? Like, this 1210-1971 feels important. Uh, or is that 18? No, it's off-center, so that would be... Clicked up there. Actually, that's so weird, isn't it? 
the way that they overlap like that. And a cross. And a cross. Gonna cut you open? No. Like I said, we're gonna give it just a little bit longer. I'm afraid I'll do something terrible. Ten milligrams of Prozac. Rusty Lake Mental Health and Fishing. Nothing up in there. We already saw that. I mean, I'm really looking, y'all. I'm really looking. We saw the murder guy. Ah, boom! Look at that! Ha-ha! Just had to keep looking. Just had to keep looking. Boom! All the photo pieces. Got it! Y'all! That one took me a bit, and I, I knew it. I was like, I can't be anything bonkers. You just gotta be hiding somewhere. Wonderful. Nailed it. All right. Oh boy, things got, things got darker. Uh, okay, we got all these lines. Okay, that said the picture's not complete, so I think that means I do have to finish the picture every time anyways. Oh, wow. 1310, we see on there, which would be 110. So we're just going to try that real quick. Oh wow, it goes backwards, huh? One. No, darn it. Click, 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 click. Click, 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 click. Yup. Saw that. Give me that. Hello, it's me, he says. Good to see you. Still there, okay. Wow, okay, we got this big old switch over here, but we need to set up all these things, it looks like. What do you need? It's got a three dot on it. Okay. Matches once again. A hatchet this time. Great. An even scarier murder weapon. Nothing on the phone. Oh, this will activate the phone, it looks like. Y'all, this music. The walls are falling apart. 1125-0905-0355. So I think... Okay, well, well, we'll try each of these times. 0905. Try that one to start with. Oops, wrong thing. 905. Um, that's 05. That's 9. Nothing on that. Okay. Oh, wow. We'll check that in a moment. Uh, 355. Oh, 0355. Oh, unless... Let's look at this guy. Okay. Oh, oh, notes. Let's look at the notes. That might mean something. Anything? Or is this just music? I'm gonna let it run. Classic music. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba 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 Okay, um, let's see. Okay, I've seen these dots. I've seen this set of dots before. Phone and fuel is change the past. Cuban fire is escape the memory. Blue Cuban fire, escape memory. Phone and fuel, change the past. I'm supposed to change the past. It's weird how it's letting me, like, it's not letting me move these to certain positions. I can't move them up. I can move them all the way down. Um, okay. Cuban fire, escape the memory. Phone and fuel, change the past. Blue cube and fire, escape the memory. Huh. So the cube and the fire, that's how we end it. See, this has the three dots, right? Oh, that has two dots on it. Okay. So I need to find whatever one of these pieces is to get this thing going. 
Oh, I've got this cube and the piece of paper. Oh, hatchet. Got some wood. Oh, keep bashing. Is there gonna be some glass or something, or it's just bashing? Okay. Just got a little carried away, I guess. Um, that's not gonna come back to bite us in the butt or anything. All right, nothing up in there. Got wood. I'm assuming this is what wood's for. Yeah. Also light the candle. Okay. Um, I'm gonna wait to put the cube away because it says blue cube and cube, which makes me think this is the first cube you get, but maybe we'll get a different one. All right. So how do we activate these things? Like, just want to double check these. Whoa. What was that? Y'all saw that? Oh, interesting. I clicked on the side, but then it didn't like fully go. Okay. So like number one, we need a sort of cross situation. Number two, we need the sun. Number three, we need like a mushroom. And number four, we need the Prozac, I guess. Um, or like a flower maybe is the first one. So, which one are you? You're number two. You're number three. You're number four. So you're number one. Oh, did you see that? Got a blueprint piece, but then there's a blender over here. I think we need to put something in. Okay, we got a glass of water. Or a, a glass. Several blueprint pictures. Glass of water. And we're gonna do it again real quick. Because I'm curious if I need to water this guy. No, okay. Double checking that these are all open, okay. Then with the blender, do I need to put more water in? No. So what I'm thinking is we mix with the water whatever items need to go in the other thing, right? So like the flower, for example, that I need to get or, you know, whatever other items. Okay, well, let's mess around with these times again. 355 and 1125. So, three, 55. So what can I, what can I do with you, bud? Can I ax you? Get chopped. Nothing. It's me, he says. All right, well, let's go put down this blueprint then. Or as much of it as we've got. Okay, three of the four up there. Um, again, we're gonna wait to put the blueprint in, or the blue cube in just yet. It might be what we need to do. This guy, where does he go? Shows up this way, but then it shows like up that way. So there's the top. very confusing because it goes around that way to here that's so weird the lines don't actually connect in the ways that they should you know what I mean and I throw water on you Okay, we're gonna put the cube in. Wait, 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 you. I haven't done nothing with you. Alright, nothing there though. Um. I guess last one we'll try 1125. That's 11. That's 25. Whoops. Okay. But that doesn't change this one's time. But I can't really do anything about that. 
1310. I already did the 1310 on the thing. We have nothing to... I haven't found a single one of these. This is the thing that confuses me. Sunlight is what the second one is. Maybe... Oh. I see that. Now he's gone. And now he's there. Oh, that's interesting. So I was thinking, if I could put this on the windowsill, maybe... Then it would gain light. Or maybe if I go to the, the top up here. You know what I mean? Okay, can I just put water in one of these? No. So you're number one. And that goes straight across the floor. It's like up in here somewhere. Okay, we are gonna go ahead and put the cube in and see what happens. Because I'm at a little bit of a loss for words right now. Blue cube in. Blueprint season four. Picture's not complete. Okay. But that wasn't necessarily required because it looks like there's still stuff I have to do. Can I ax this? No. Phone and fuel. Maybe I can put out the fire? No. Because all I've got is these three things. Guess we can turn on all the burners and light them? Maybe? Don't know what purpose that would serve. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Huh. Huh. Can't throw matches in there. I'm really a little confused. I'm a little confused. Can't do anything with the pictures. They're just there. They're... I can't seem to adjust them in any way. They have the different times associated with them, but doing stuff with the clock doesn't seem to do anything. And I can't seem to adjust the other clock. You know? I haven't found a single... Like, I feel like I would find at least one of whatever these things are if I was even close to on the right track. But there is something big I'm missing somewhere. You know what I mean? Maybe it's reversed. So maybe it's like five... Hold on. It can't be. Yeah, that can't be. It's the order that they're in. I don't know what to do. What does it say to change the past? Phone and fuel. Cuban fire, escape the memory. Blue Cuban fire, escape the memory. Hmm. Aha! Once again, stuff is just flipping around. Pick our memory. Winter of 1981? Were we just in fall? Or was that winter? Let me go back to fall. Is that where we just were? No! Okay. Winter. Okay. Oh! Do we need to go back to each of these times and find these things? A flower, something having to do with the sun, a mushroom, and... Let's go back. Oh! Oh! The times! The times! 1125, let's see, the first one is 0905. 0905. 9. 
Oh yeah, we figured it out. Give me that. It's me, he says. We got a shovel, we got a key, we got a coat hanger. Okay, give me the flower. Yes. Wait, did you give me the flower? Or did it fall on the floor or something? Or is that what I was supposed to change in the past? I got a trowel, I got a key, I got a coat hanger. Do I let you out? No. Well then I guess the question is, do I take this stuff with me to the future? You know? Can I catch you? No. Okay, we're gonna go to the future. Did that come with me? It did not. Now, I troweled up the flower. Is it anywhere? Like, I'm curious if it would be in one of these things. Because otherwise, it's like, okay, I can't bring, bring things through. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, so it must be here, whatever it is that I'm changing. Um, so, coat hanger. Everything I touch, I change, yes. What's going on with you, lady? Too heavy to lift. Oh, there she goes. Can I, like, get something from in here with you? Huh. So he just, like, screeches and stuff. Okay, so... So the first one, it was definitely flower. It was something to do with the flower. Right? So I dug that sucker up. Right? And I plant the key? No. So I dug it up, but I didn't get it. Did it change things in, like, the next... Like, let me go to the next one. So what's going on... Over here now. Anything? Alright, we're gonna... Because maybe it's like I have to do stuff in every single one, and then this will grow into something, right? So... Let's... Oh gosh. Let's go back. Let's find out the time for this one. Um, oh my gosh, of course I got the wrong way. Um, the second one is 355. No. Yes. Maybe. Yes. Do, 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 do. Uh, 55. Got a wrench. Okay, so for the gas, maybe. Yeah. So then that's fuel. Um, that's leaking. Okay. So then the last one... Was... Oh, come on, clock. Not you, sorry. Um, 11.25. Because at least I'm, I'm figuring out what's in each of these zones that I can get, you know? 11. 25. Some more matches. Okay. What do you got going on in here? So we got matches now in this place. Oh, light the candle, maybe? Because then... By the last one, the candle will be out. Maybe. Aha! Boom. All right, so we got that. That's one. Oh, we got a mushroom. Can I get the fuel? Okay, well, let's start with... We know we need the mushroom in one of these. Whoa! Didn't love that. Empty the glass. 
Fill the glass. We got mushroom juice. So that goes in three dot. You are two dot. You are three dot. Okay. That one's good. Okay. Um, then we know we need the pill one. Throw that in there. Oops. Okay. So that's Prozac juice. Which is number four. You're two, so that'll make you three. That'll make you four, probably. Yep. Okay. So that's two of them. Now, what else am I looking for? What else can change? Like, I might have to go through each of them and do something, is my guess, right? So at the beginning, I got rid of the flower. I chopped it down, right? So now there's been nothing in here for a little while. But maybe I need to go through like each time. You know? Like where would the flower be on this one? Okay, you. Nothing. That's when the like the blood was there. I'm very confused about the flower thing. Because clearly I was supposed to travel it. But it didn't give it to me as an item or anything. Let's go to the fall, just to check. Okay. So then I'm going to need to maybe plant something in that first zone, I'm thinking. Because what are the other ones... Don't love that. Because what are the other ones that I'm missing. It's the the first two? Let's see. Yeah, I need whatever that is, the sun, the light, and then I need uh, this flower is what I'm assuming that is. Um... I have a key. What is the key? Oh! Hello. I was just like, oh, I'm gonna start jamming stuff around in here. Okay, little gold key is absolutely gonna let the bird out. Who's gonna poop seeds, I bet. You're free, bird, you're free! Okay, cool. What's that? Too heavy to lift. Well, yeah, he's a sweet little bird. Okay. What do I do with you, bird? Do I feed you key? No. So you're just gonna do what you do until I make something else happen. Okay. Um... I'm... I'm assuming I need to get the seeds from the bird. Unless the bird being out now. Aha. Okay, so then let's go to... Well, we can just jump straight to the last zone and see. But I bet this is going to change things throughout, right? Like, let's go to level two. Like, because where's the bird? Bird's not going to be in the cage, right? Oh, bird's in the cage again. Okay. Interesting, so it didn't change that past. Or that future from there, I guess. But what about here? Oops. No. Okay, so we're going back to the first zone. There's another key that I must need to open. Something... It might be that little... Cabinet, because I don't think I ever opened it in this zone. Yeah, is it you? There we go. So here is a four-digit thing. Cool. What four digits can we find? Let me just think for a moment. Too heavy to lift, she disappeared. Bird. Oh man, four digit code. Hmm. 
Can I eat Harvey's eggs? Well, his name's Harvey. Hmm. What was the time for this one? 9.05? Let's try 9.05 and let's try 13.10. Because maybe the code is the same that it was in the other one. Like, whatever, the 87 or whatever. 09. 05? No. Okay, so then what was the code in... Was it the second one? Where you could look at the moon? Because, I mean, it would make sense for it to be the same code, right? I think it's like 1487. Something to that effect. Yeah, 1487. Sorry I had to make you get murdered again. I mean, for you it only happened once. Just for me, I keep going back in time. Alright, so we're gonna try 1487. Before I start, like, overthinking it and whatnot. One. Four. Come on. Take your time. Hey, cool. All right, now we feed the bug to the bird. No? Maybe I go and put it on the thing? Okay. Okay, and then do I need to trowel it? No. Okay, bird. You gonna go do something with it? Huh? No? Alright. Well, to me, that's pretty significant. So let's go to number, let's go to the second zone, see if it did anything, and then we'll go to the final zone, see if it did anything. Aha! This is a cactus, it grows. Okay, so that was a seed. I thought that that was like a bug. Okay, then let's go to... Uh, Zafusha. Whoa! Hold on. Something just happened. What's going on here? My mouse disappeared. My mouse died. That's what happened. Hold on. Let's plug it in. Come on. Okay, cool. My mouse literally died in the middle of that. Okay. There we go. Give me that. A little cactus fruit. Okay. We're gonna assume that that's what it wants for the first one. Because, I mean, sounds about right. You always need some water, y'all. Can't just be doing solids, okay? Do, 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 do. Okay, fruit juice, I think, is number one, but let's double check. Yeah, so that'll be number... Wait a minute. Could that be it? Because the cactus fruit looked more like that than it did like that. It worked. Okay, so then the last one we need to get must be from the second zone, right? That's what we're guessing. Let's head that way. Let's see what we can't find. Something to do with the light. Right? We already grabbed that thing. Let's see. We got a screwdriver. We got a wrench. So the wrench was like the new thing here, right? Was messing with the this guy. Which ended up leading to the mushrooms, that's right. So... Hmm... What did we get in the third zone? God, I keep clicking on the photos to try and disappear because it's, it's this photo to disappear. What did we get? Oh! Did we get anything out of the this thing or was it already open? We must have already had that one open. That's right, dead bird. All this nonsense. Ready? Okay. Didn't mean to do that. Wow, you just click on the mushrooms and it does that. Wow. That's wild. Hmm. That wouldn't be anything to do with this, would it? Oh. 
Oh man. So tricky because it because it's for like the number 2, that's what makes me think it has to be here, you know? Can I bust you open at all? Hmm. So we've already got that open. Wait a minute. When the light's on, this doesn't do anything. I mean, it does. Like, it's doing something. Right? I do this. And now... So interesting. Can I snuff you? No. Hmm. He continues to ponder. There's nothing I can do with that. Oh, my brain! It's wrinkled! Alright, maybe there's something to do with the bird in the first zone. Right, bird's still here. Which is annoying because he should be locked up or unlocked. Like, my thing is like, so the sun, right? That's what we're looking for is the sun. How do I make this become the sun? Is there like a time of day that I can switch it to? Like, let's go with... Six. Six o'clock. How's that? No. So it doesn't change anything by doing messing with the clock. But it feels to me like this is the... The thing. Can I bash the window? No. But then if I look up here... And I can't, like, move this around. Hmm... I'm just trying to look for anything else in this picture, you know? Wrench do nothing, this do nothing... Yeah. Bust this little thing off. Okay, we're gonna go back to the first zone, because, like, the bird flying around but not doing anything yet is the one that causes me some pause. You know? I saw you. Bird is free. Because the bird didn't leave anything behind, right? Like, I don't think I got anything from this. Maybe I close it? Does that matter? Hmm. Get the pot back, I guess. Because I can. Um... Can we open this guy? No. That guy's open in the past, too, huh? It's a pot with water. Come here. Can I dump the... dump the water? No? Can't dump the water. Um... Because I was wondering if maybe I could get the fuel, you know? But no. What about you? Can I get, like, a teaspoon of... Oh, no? Can I just light this on fire? No? Okay. Worth a shot, I guess. Um, I can't further break this guy. No. It's so hard because I don't know if I'm even in the right room, you know? Right? Oh! I was able to get the wood back. Okay. Okay. <gasps> Okay. Okay. So I wedged it open. Where, where, where's my escape? I wedged it open with the wood. So now the bird definitely shouldn't be around, right? 
Ah, look at that. No bird. So then the bird will come back. Right? Because there's an open window that I bashed open. Right? Look at that. Bird. Okay. So then how do I attract the bird? How do I bring the bird in? Oh man. It's like I get so close. And it's like there's one more thing that you don't know about, but there's a thing. Uh What's going on? I need like a bug or some bird seed or something, you know? Like, how can I attract that little guy in here? You know? Hmm. Okay. The only thing I can think of is I need to go check the zone before this one, just to see if there was anything else there with the missing board. I can't just throw water on that, can I? No. Only with the pot. Um, still not ready on the phone yet. Okay, we're gonna head back. Because I guess I'm thinking maybe there's one more thing that I need to, like, generate. Um, something. For the bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, you know, like a bug or something. Leave something out for a bug or something like that to come in and like attract the guy in. But gosh darn, if it doesn't feel like I've now stretched everything to its limit, you know? Too heavy to lift. There's nothing I can use to lift it with. Don't have any way of getting rid of the um what do you call it? No gas, really? Oh, just because it's not turned on. Weep. I can't open that. It's stuck. Can't jam it open. Hmm. Just looking. We're just looking. Man, what could it be? Oh my jeez. So it would make sense for it to be in this zone, right? Because it's the second one that we're missing, right? So where is the bird? The bird is now gone, right? The bird is out in the wilderness. Oh! Oh, I have a telescope. Maybe I can see the bird. Is the bird somewhere? No. Hmm. You got what I was going for. You got what I was going for. Maybe the bird's flying around situation. Oh, man. This wrinkles my brain. This is the cassette tape that's on fire. This is not even wood. Hmm. My brain, it wrinkles. Okay. So the bird... Oh wait, 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 wait. There he is. You can see him up there. Let's open it up again. No, no, no. Leave it open. Maybe. Hmm. 
Hmm. We'll do that. No, I thought maybe it would stay open. Okay. Well, it's like the bird's definitely gone. Right? Like... Alright, I'm gonna leave it like that. We... I'm, I'm thinking that there must be, in the first zone, something that I have missed out on. Or in the last zone. Just want to double check to see if anything has happened here. I turned off the lights, basically thinking that maybe that would do something. Alright, let's go to the end. We're gonna look real close at everything. I think it's like one of those ones where maybe it's like... The answer is hiding somewhere. Because I changed the past, thank you very much. How do I attract you back in, my friend? With water? With an axe? And this is where things get weird, because, like, to me... It seems like... There should be a bug, or... Some bird seed again, or something that should allow me to attract him in. But we have seen nothing that would allow for that, as far as I can tell. We've done all the stuff with the times. This is a goopy mess. Ain't nothing behind here. It's like one of those ones where it's like, it almost feels like it's going to end up being something so simple. You know? Hmm. Maybe the, maybe the music will bring him in. Boom! Oh yes, I was like, wait a minute is a bird. Oh my goodness. Oh, is the flower juice the right one? Or does, oh, maybe they're in the wrong order. Shoot. Maybe I did it wrong. Well, we'll find out. Okay. Uh, you. Well, hope I didn't do it wrong. How do I reset them? Can I take you back out? Oh, I can. Okay, cool. Um, but how can I take two of you out? I guess maybe I can put one of you in here? There we go. Okay. So then I need to go to... Where's number, number two? Or my number one? You were like the prickly pear juice or whatever. So, give me you. You're going to number two. Click, and then you're going to one, and that should do it. I think everything's in its right spot now. No? Is it, oh, this one's not on. Boom! Phone and fuel was the other one, right? What's burning? What was that sound? This is phone and fuel. Maybe to chop this up, maybe? No? Are they in the right ones? Hold on. I mean, the thing went all the way down. Cube and fire. 
Escape memory, blue cube and fire, escape memory, phone and fuel, change past. How do I... It's me, he says. Like, the power to the thing is on. Alright, well, we're gonna... Yeah. But all the stuff is running. Like, I assumed... Fuel meant... Setting all this up. Because it's not like it's letting me grab this fuel. You know what I mean? Is it gonna make me, like, kill the bird? Hmm. No. <sighs> okay. I mean, unless it's gonna let me throw water on that fire, which, before it made it very clear that I couldn't do that. Yeah. Hmm. I changed the past. I already did that. Um, let me... Okay, we're gonna go back in time, I guess. Go see if anything has now changed way further back. Like, if I go check the phone now... Oh! It's me, she says. Okay. And now the phone's gone. Oh, gosh, everything's disappearing. Oh, shoot. Winter of 1981. Oh, gosh. What happened? This cube's flying. Okay. Tree growing in the distance. Okay, this is very Rusty Lake, Cube Escape, etc. Now the tree move. The tree move again. Tree get closer. The end, question mark. Oh, cool. Did you find all of the achievements? Did I? I don't know. Phone, face, this thing? I don't think so, because I assumed they'd be filled in. Interesting. I'm going to have to look into what all of these are. Very, very uh, interested. We got four cubes. We got the lady. Maybe these are different endings. Um, interesting. Interesting. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's going to be it for this first um, episode of Cube Escape. I will probably do a couple of them and stitch them together into this. So if the video looks like it's another couple of hours long, get ready for the next couple of cube escapes. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed checking this one out. I will be doing the rest of these going forward, um, but I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I've been Price, I'll see y'all next time. All right, y'all, I am back playing some more Cube Escape. This is probably picking up immediately after the last one that you watched, because I bet I combined this into a long video. So here's my plan. We're going to play through um, three games per episode. If these all take kind of like seasons did roughly like an hour and a half, otherwise we'll, we'll adjust. Um, and then I'll be reading your comments as I release these. And then what I'll do is I'll do an episode after the fact where we go through all of them and kind of pick up all of the secrets that we left behind, right? So like we know there's achievements on seasons that we didn't get because there's endings that we didn't get. And so I think if y'all want to see that, if this is something that y'all are interested in, I think it would make most sense to do that um, later because right now I want to be able to record and get through these and that'll take me a lot of research and stuff to figure that stuff out and that kind of takes the mystery out of it for me for right now. So anyway, here we go. Let's jump into the lake. What? That's like a phrase right there. I used to live on a lake, so let's jump into the lake is a very serious thing. Uh, I found an abandoned cabin at Rusty Lake. All right, we're at Rusty Lake. Okay. Got a fishing rod. So the, the Rusty Lake is introduced very early on. I was curious about that. I assumed that Rusty Lake was actually like a... Uh, when they were sort of almost rebooting the series, right? Because it came as like a separate thing. 
Okay. Okay, we got a knife. We have a chopping board over here. We've got a fishing rod. Let's look at the light. Or the worm. Um, we're going to go back around to where it was. Uh, okay, no, sorry. We're going to go back here. Yeah, okay. We got a line. We got that. Okay, so we're going to need a hook. Probably. Got a little something up here. What do you got? The past is never dead. It is not even past. Okay, we have... A gem, or a diamond, a seashell, an eyeball. I can't quite tell what this is. This looks like a vague portrait of someone. It could be a mirror. It could be anything. Maybe a clock. I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to be, but there's this thing. And then we have a uh, an apple. Okay, the past is never dead. It is not even past. So the, both games dealing with changing the past, right? Both games have been hitting those themes, and I think we will hit more of those. Same stool as well. Same stool is the last one. All right, this is locked. It's got something up there. We've got our hook. Ooh, a crowbar. Nice. Uh, real quick. Okay, I was just thinking, you know, I could open that. All right, so I'm guessing I need to take you Put you on here. I need to take the line. Put that there. Okay, let's take the hook. Boop. And the worm. Insect. Okay. And there we go. So do I... Okay, cool. I just had to wait a little bit. Just wait a sec. A scramp! Okay. There was a scramp last time. I'm going to throw this out again. Oh, or maybe. Just, the, here's, a, here's a thought. Okay, no, I was gonna say, oh, maybe I put the shrimp back on and then I get that. All right, we're gonna do the cutting board, I think. Oh, uh, your boy is having ideas right away. It's in my head, I was like, well, what do we have? What could we do? I was like, well, usually when you get something in, in this game that's alive, it usually doesn't stay that way for very long, uh, <laughs> right? Um, okay, we got the key. Let's see if we can't open this guy. What, is that not it? Okay, key is for something else. Was there something else that was locked? Oh, okay, th that one was locked. Okay, cool, we got a magnet and a worm. So let's go, uh, same deal. Nope, sorry. We're gonna put the worm on the hook. Maybe we'll catch something different, right? Boobity boo boobity boobity boo. -boo, 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 -boo. No? Oh, we just have to click it again. Okay. Sup? Fish. Okay. Then do we gut the fish? Oh, scramp head. Okay. And then... Yep, yeah, okay. Ew. Whoa! Okay. Got ourselves a treat. With eyes. Okay, 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 okay. Eyeballs. And they, these are in the five positions, right? Yeah. Okay. So these aren't necessarily eyeballs. These are like slots, maybe. But we need to put those things in those places. Let me look at it again. Just to see if there can be vague interpretations. So, like, could the shell count as the scramp head? Uh, let's, let's see. No. Okay. We will... We'll come back to this, I guess. Um, what else is there? We got a magnet. What would we use this magnet for? And a crowbar. What? Hmm. Okay. Now I'm at one of those places of confusion, which is, I guess, that's where we start. A magnet. Okay. So this, you can keep clicking and doing things. Um, oh, can I put the magnet on the end of the rod? Like do some, um, you know, fishing for metal. Aha! And the scramp head as well. Okay, you can do both, but separately. Let's go with the magnet first. Oh, guess I can't. So we'll go with the scramp head. Also, apologies if you don't like me saying scramp. That's just kind of what we do around here at Stump. I know it's a shrimp. I know it's a shrimp. Okay! Okay. Messed up body. 
I don't want to have to do this. Yep. Okay, that's that shadow guy. I kind of thought that might be. So, okay, okay. Because I'm trying to understand this game from a lore perspective, and starting at the beginning, it's, you know, going to help kind of be like, what are the themes that they've been going for, right? There's this shadow figure who, in the first one, uh, is like the murderer of the character as far as we know, but it's like sort of a, a, a malevolent spirit. Now we found a physical body that is like possessed by that thing or influenced by it, but it was dead in the water at Rusty Lake. So, if anything, we're going to say that maybe there was a murder at Rusty Lake that kind of leads to many things. I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll figure it out as we go. I like that it's so vague. Okay, yep, yep. That's an apple. And now he's gone. Okay. Um, so, yeah, trying to just kind of piece together little bits of the lore. You know, I'm not great at, like, doing all this stuff as I'm going along. It's I'm better in review. But, still... Trying to think of things as we go. Obviously, lots of death themes. Things related to death. Aha! So there goes our other key. So, we'll get you here. Yeah, okay. All right! It's a coin is what it is. Okay, so apple is upper left. Coin is lower left. Yep. And you. Okay. So there's two pieces. Uh, maybe I can crowbar this thing. Is there anything I can do with the window? No. Okay. Nothing I can do with this, huh? All right, let's see if, um, uh, if I can fish something else up with the magnet. Ah, a chest. Okay, let's do it again. We're just gonna keep trying. There may be a bunch of stuff in this water, who knows? Okay, another one, wow. All four digit codes things, which makes me think that those might be for later secret stuff. Okay, now there's nothing. Okay. You. Mirror. Oh, okay. It, this is, so this is a six. See, like 66. I think they did this puzzle in a different Rusty Lake game. Because I feel like I've seen this. Oh. I guess they're nines. It's upside down. Like that. Yeah, yeah, because let me just look at that again, right? Because the six was facing inward. Yes, okay. So it's going to be you. So the mirror is across this way. Okay. Then an X. Oh, hold on. Is it six times two, three, seven? Is that what it is? Let me pull that up real quick. Because I thought, oh, mirror these numbers. But now I'm thinking maybe it's... Well, let's first just mirror it. And then if that doesn't work, we'll do whatever the number is. That's six times two, three, seven. Um, okay, so, sorry, let's go back to two. Two, okay. Then three, then seven. Um, so yeah, I think that this is not gonna be the answer. Yeah, so let me do that. We're doing it math style, all right? Pull up a calculator because my brain is not going to be able to do this when I'm not even looking at real numbers. Um, okay. Boop, boop, ba doop, ba doop, boop. My teacher said he wouldn't have a calc in your pocket, and yet I do. Six times two, three, seven is 1422. So we're going to try that out. So one, four, two, Two! Look at that. Okay, we got our diamond. Um, our gem. Ooh, what was that? There's a little star up there. Uh, I guess because it was an achievement, maybe? Remember the seasons. Like from the movie? Or from the movie. From the first game? Like those seasons? What about them? Remember the seasons. We'll, we'll keep this in mind. That makes me think that that is just like a secret thing. Um, let's come to you. Gem on top. Then we have two more spots. What else could we need? I'm trying to think, like, what can I do with this crowbar, you know? Like, this is... I'm assuming this is a window, not a painting. There's just nothing here. 
Nothing up here. We've been in that. Still haven't opened this guy. Which is interesting. But like, like it feels like we're at, you know, that kind of place. Is there something I get for just throwing it empty? No. And I don't have any other things. Remember the seasons. We have three of those. Okay. What am I missing? What am I missing? Like I can't chop any of the tree. As far as I can tell. Um... Okay. Oh, is that something? Yeah! Just noticed that little little line there. Okay. Boop. What you got for me? This looks like fungus or something. Yeah. So I guess we will fish with the fungus. We'll try to. I think this game's all about fishing. Fishing at Rusty Lake. Alright, what you got for me? Fungus. Okay, there's our shell. So now the question is, like, is there something inside the shell? Come on, go away, achievement. All right. Um, shell. So we need... No, no, no. Hold on. Shell goes here. And then eyeball goes down there. So where do I get an eyeball from? Right? Right. Can't take it from the fish. Uh, so I'm worried, like, if I'm going to turn around and see somebody. Hmm. I've done the magnets. Can't put a knife on there. Oh, man. Remember the seasons. That's got me all up in my head. The past is never dead. It is not even past. Okay. There's nothing else up there. All right. Now I'm, I'm now I'm going to be like staring at all the little edges and the corners and stuff, you know? Like this right here, that little dot there. I'm sure something was hanging on it or something, right? But it's got me like oh and why do I feel like I want to do something with that? Why does it feel like there's literally nothing else that can be done? But that's like how this game always works. Oh, man. Remember the seasons. Because it's like in my head. Come on. It's like maybe like the years 19, like, wasn't there one that was like 72 or something like that? No. Remember the seasons. Okay, and I can't close this back up, so it's not going to be on there. Because, like, I could go back to the other game, but, like... Part of me feels like that's not what they want you to do, but maybe it is. Have we even seen any numbers? You know? Like... This is gonna be messing with me a little bit, I think. This is one of those ones I might have to step away. Because I'm very... Confuzzled. Hmm. There's nothing I can do on top of that. Oh! Ha ha! Eyeball! Thank you! Goodness. Goodness. Yeah, 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 yeah. The eye. Got it. There we go. Okay. No big deal. Pentagram tree. Okay, yep, had a feeling we were going to start seeing stuff like that. Hi, bud. Demon crawling out of the lake. Yep. Oh! 
No, that was quick. That one was quick. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, we'll keep going then a little bit. Um, wow, that was so much faster. Okay. Remember the seasons. We're going to keep in mind. But because that was so fast, like, we're going to do a little bit more. Um, okay. Wow. That changed a lot for me. We'll see how far we go. Yeah. I did not realize that they could be that variable. Anyway, we move on to Cube Escape Arles. I looked it up. Arles is how you're supposed to pronounce that. Arles, October 1888. What do I remember? Okay. Okay. So we got a... a this is uh, Vincent Van Gogh. Is this as well? Yeah? Different uh, paintings of him, though. Uh, okay, got a little handkerchief up here. Okay, this is paint by numbers. This is paint by numbers. Cause they're like the with like this QL QL or whatever you want to call that. Um, that looks very paint by numbers. So we're gonna probably be painting these in. Okay, huh? Click 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 click. Gimme. All right, whatever it is, I can't take it, um, but it's there. I guess maybe that gives me some information about that painting or something. I can't grab either of those. Bid. Okay, we got a hat. Yeah, something fell out of that one. What fell? Wait. Y'all saw that. How do I get what just fell on the floor? Oh, okay, there's a view from this angle. Okay. Um, all right. So we've got the vase, the glass, and three jars. We don't know anything about our bottles. We don't know anything about that one. This one, there's a, a squiggle associated with these three. Um, maybe that's saying what that color is. So maybe this is green, right? Like we look at this. That's that symbol. Maybe that's what it is. We're trying to figure out which colors are which. Um, on the door, we've got similar things that we're going to have to figure out. Um, maybe what's inside there is that color? Okay. What's this? Okay, that's a piece of a photo. That's a sugar cube. It says an arrow pointing up. Whoa. Oh, okay. This is a red light or whatever it's called. I have a cat over here being a butthead. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. You already ate, bud. Okay. I'm not sure if I want them all to be small or big. I think I want them all to be small. I'm just not great at this game. Wait. There we go. Those are all small. Is that not what I wanted? Maybe it'll tell me which ones, how many I need, or which ones. So I definitely had it there. Do I want them all big? I think they started all big, didn't they? Let's back up again. Yeah, they're all big already. All right, we'll 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 come back to that in a moment. What do we got here? That is an absinthe spoon. We can see, oh, I didn't even know there was a thing behind it. We can see that there's something here that I need to, like, scrape or something um, to see what that number is or whatever okay and then we have a transparent glass okay more pieces of stuff okay and then again we have those so i'm thinking that these are telling us which colors are which that door is locked anything above us not at the moment okay um oh and then there's all this stuff oh took the jug took the brush Can I... Ah, oh, paintbrush. Well, now, can I do this? No. So this is just a blue bowl. Like, these are clearly what, what's in this painting, right? This glass needs to be moved over to here. Don't know how to do that. 
and then I need to get rid of that bull, is my assumption. Why, hello, Vincent Van Gogh, or Goff. Vincent Van Goff. Okay. Yep, that's a bit of a starry night situation. Oh! Seven. All right, cool. That's cute. Um, okay, we did those. We looked up here. Let's go put together some of this, uh, these here paintings. Yeah, that goes there for sure. Come on. Bramp. A bramp. And we don't have the upper corner for that one. That's fine. I do have a key. I need to remind myself I have a key to use as well. This one's going to go up here. And this one's going to go over here. Do, do, do. Okay. A hat. Interesting. Um, okay, we have a key. What's locked? You're locked. Okay, I'm thinking this, that's a wine bottle. I'm thinking this symbol means red, maybe, or it means this kind of tealish color. We have a bottle of wine. Uh, yeah, I had a feeling. Okay. Okay, you can fill it and you can drink it. Okay. Well, we're going to fill it. Um, oh, I think I'm going to need to make absinthe at some point. Um, okay. Well then. Okay, you can fill all these with whatever colors. Um, okay. Oh, another piece. Dun da da da. Oh, uh, uh, oh, don't love that. Okay. A sunflower. Can I put that on you? Just cover you back up? No, nope. okay. Well, that was creepy. When we look back, it's like that. Okay, so we got another sunflower. Like, is that where it goes? Oh, okay, now is when I need to get them. It's tall poppy syndrome over here. Okay, I do not like this mini game. Never have, never will. Uh, this is just me flailing right now. Darn it. Darn it. Ah. Because I'm assuming it just needs to get as big as possible. Why doesn't... Why doesn't this one affect this one? Oh, I've been operating under that assumption. Oh, I thought... Okay, interesting. So I can use this one to clear that one. So I can leave that one to be. So. Yeah, let's clear you out. Clear you out. Oh, but this one, it needs to stay big already. Okay. 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 Right? There we go. All right. I thought that this one and this one were connected. So like, you know, these three and these four, like, anyway, y'all see what I mean. Um, again, assumptions. You play games, you do things, you make assumptions. Open this one. What do we got? A knife. Cool. What do I need to be cutting? Oh, no. At some point, they're going to make me cut off his ear, aren't they? Not yet. Okay, um, so, uh, oh, I have a brush. Oh, I, I always forget I have a second side to these things. 
I've got a jug, right? I got this pitcher that I need to do something with, and I got this brush. What am I gonna do with this brush? Uh, I think I know what I'm gonna do with this brush. Nope. Uh, you. Yep. So, this is blue. Um... Okay. Paintbrush, are you red? No. Can I put this jug down? Oh! The jug is filled with water, I guess. Yeah. Okay, and then can I like put the wine in too? No. Okay. In um okay. Interesting. Um so we got a key from that. We know this stuff. I have a feeling at least for a little while we're done over here. Um unless I can snip things. No. Okay. Um So let's head to a different area. Um, I think this is literally just telling us this is white. Um, that door's locked. Another chair that we can't do anything with. Alright, so I think... Ah! Aha! There we go. Okay, this is yellow. That's what we're... The big thing we're learning is, is this is all going to be about colors in the end. Okay, so we got the absinthe. Which then to me says, let's do... Well, from what I know about absinthe, something like this, and then that, and then that, and then that? No. But we're close. You have to pour something over that. It's like... Or you pour the absinthe over the sugar? Maybe it's that way? There it is. You do it the other way around. How would someone do this if they didn't know about absinthe? Whoa. Um, that was an accident, what I just did there, continuing to fill it up and, and close it. Um, can I take that back? No. Okay, but we got ourselves another piece of the painting. Do, 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 do. You. Do, 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 do. Huzzah! Sleepy, you give me key? You sleepy? So sleepy? Okay, cool. They're not making me cut off his ear yet. I, you know what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna say, it. you know what's gonna happen. Alright, cool. That's unlocked. Hello! My friend Paul. Okay, you want your hat? Hat! Thank you for the palette. Mmm. -hmm. Okay, so now we need to start mixing up some paints, maybe? How about we go to the blue table, see if I can't put the palette down. No, okay. Okay. Where would the palette go for me to use it? Here? Okay. Just put some colors together, huh? <laughs> um, I have to do this. I take the that. No. Okay. Not exactly sure how to do this or what to do with these things. They have different angles to them. Do we know anything about those? And does it matter? What's with this handkerchief? You know? Ah! Okay! That's to erase. Okay, I bet that's what that is. Alright, so. So. We know. Okay, we know what teal, green, and this blue are, I think. So, real quick. We know from this guy, that squiggle, we're going to say a silly bean um, is a green, like an emerald green, as opposed to the raw symbol, which is more of a turquoise teal. Okay, so this guy is green. Whoop. Oh, I have to actually paint it. Okay. Cool. Then this guy is teal. 
Okay. Uh, this is white, right? Because of the... This, WM, basically. Uh, so you. Just waiting for it to autofill. <laughs> okay, cool. Then... What else do we know? There's the HNQ. Okay, I think we saw the HN somewhere. Uh, that was the G. Did I do the G? No, G is blue. Okay. This is like RL is what that looks like, but that we don't have here. Okay, what other ones have I seen? HN is the yellow. Okay. I knew I had seen one somewhere. So there's one that I need to find. It's this QL. This is not this color. I'm just assuming that we've seen it somewhere, you know? Let's move everything onto one tab, please. Thank you. Um, okay. So. All right. What about you? We haven't done anything with you yet. Yep, there it is. I knew it had to happen. Oh, there goes his ear. Oh. I'll give you the knife back. Okay. All right. Well, what am I doing with his ear? Who needs the ear? Do you need an ear? No. How about you? Do you need an ear? May I lend you this ear? Okay. The ear doesn't really help me. Just trying to think what else you could do with the ear, you know? Oh, oh, maybe in this bowl over here. Like I said, something is going to have to be done here. Yep. Okay. Well, we'll leave it there for now. Um, it's like one last color, or maybe two that we're trying to figure out. Oh, what is with these? Like, it's not like I can pour any of this on it. Maybe that should be a glass of water. This should be a jug of wine. These should be bottles of absinthe, maybe. Something like that. I don't know. Um, now I'm looking kind of on the edges and stuff. Places where I normally wouldn't pay attention, you know? Got some wine? You want a brush? Yeah, he doesn't seem happy. Um, okay. What else have we got? Because, like, just in terms of colors, right, it's like QL could be black or it could be this kind of, this light blue. So maybe this is telling me that this is the color for this, like, purplish thing, which could be that. Like, I don't want to have to guess, but it might be that you have to, you know? But also, like, there's part of me that's like, well, no, these games always have something going on you know can't do that with the jug can't do that with that can't do that with that it's so interesting but like i've had zero information given to me about any of this stuff hmm. these chairs are here twice does this mean anything? These colors next to each other. What did that do? Cleared off the wrong stuff, maybe? Let's, let's, oh. Let's go a little wild here. Part of me wants to say it could be at night, but if this doesn't autofill, then I think that's telling me it ain't right, right? 
Now, I know I'm kind of cheesing it here. But... I think it's worth doing. Yeah, okay. So I was assuming it was going to be this color. All right, so let's see. Where would I have learned this? I have no idea. And if cheesing it is inappropriate, then my apologies. But I'm assuming that the sky will be sky colored and then that box will be black because it's the cube from the cube escapes. I could be wrong. Nope. I'm right. Okay. And then. Yep. Figured it out. Got that cube. Um, so yeah, this is one of those situations of like, uh, oh, are there multiple cubes? Um, where you can get the answer. Oh, I can't do any other colors anymore. I can't paint anymore. Okay. Well, we got a cube. Do you need a cube? Yep. Had a feeling. So then that we got one cube. Paintbrush. No. 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 Okay, so then we're hoping that something else has changed. Well, crap. What other thing is there? So, like, oh, oh, oh. I see. I see. The different lines. Water pitcher is vertical. Wine bottle is horizontal. Absinthe is diagonal. Got it. Okay. So let's do that. So then what I need, well, let me remind myself. Horizontal is wine. So if I go over to this guy, we need wine in the jug and wine in the second bottle. Okay. Then we need water in the first one and then absinthe in the other two. Boom, baby. I thought that might be like somewhere, right? Didn't I say like, oh, they have different lines on them. Awesome. Ew. Going down the ear canal. Oh, into a tunnel. Oh, this is showing us that question mark is black. Um, okay. A gun! Great. Pinpoint of light. Between two doors. Oh, wow. Let's think for a second. Like, I see the seashell type stuff, and I immediately think of the last game. Oh, oh, okay. We need to do some comparative weights here. I think you and you might weigh the same. Okay. Is that correct? Um, oh, 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 okay. The hammer equals three. The drum equals one. The hammer is, what did I say? It's equivalent to the... Whatever this thing is, right? Yeah, those look equal. So the stirrup. I think that's what that is. So the stirrup is a three. So then if we do the anvil and this guy... The anvil's clearly heavier, right? So that would put the anvil, we'll say, at five. Oh, gosh, okay, I need to... Doesn't remember my numbers, so because we're doing process of elimination. If this one's bigger than that one, but smaller than that one, X. So we know that the hammer is three. We know that the drum is one. So then now I think I know that the stirrup is also three. Right, because I said it was equal to the hammer. And now we know. Oh, come on. So then we know that. Okay, no, well, that's, yeah, I knew that. No, uh, this guy, the little shell, is lighter than the stirrup, right? So we know it's less than three. Is it equivalent to the drum? It is. Okay, so little guy equals one so then i'm assuming big shell yes is bigger than the drum big shell is a little bit bigger than the stirrup so we're going to put it on my little list over here i 
as it could be a four or five. Yeah, the anvil's a five. That's what I thought. Okay, so anvil equals five. That shell equals four. Is there anything else that I didn't weigh? One and one, five, four, three and three. Okay, so one. Uh, what did I say? Three. Uh, four and five. Yeah? No? Guess not. Um, what did I do wrong here? It might be my assumption about the shell or about that guy. So, let's try this again. You are the same as you. Yeah, that's flat. Well? Well? I mean, if that's not the same, then geez louise. So we could call that a four. Okay. So if that's the case, then it's going to go four, five, six. So if there is a definitive order in these things, then there might be like these minute changes. So. Like those guys are identical, right? Oh, you can add them together. To be more precise. All right, so these two... Okay, I gotta start my list over. Now things... I thought I could only do them one at a time and had to make inferences. Now I can be more precise. Okay, so we're gonna say drum and this guy... Nope, not you. Are equal, right? That is as flat of a line as you can get. If that doesn't count as equal, then they need to actually put some numbers in this game. So, with that knowledge, we now know that there's a one on both sides, right? So then we can use those in conjunction with the other ones to add up to uh, what they could be. So, we also know that the hammer is three, right? The hammer is three. So with that, those pieces of knowledge, we should be able to determine some things. So, you and the hammer. Like, it looks like the hammer is maybe a little heavier, or, or a little lighter. So if I add that... Now you're even. So that thing is actually a four. Okay, the stirrup, just doing this real quick, is a four. The, obviously the hammer's a three. Okay, so then, nope, sorry, sorry. So we know this is a four, we know this is a one, so we can create a five over here if we need to. So you, big boy, how about four? How about five? Okay, big guy is five. So then the anvil's gonna end up being six, right? Because we'll do this, and that won't be enough. And then we'll do that. Oh, and that won't be enough. Wow. Oh, wow, the anvil's eight. Right? Yeah, okay, and that's where the biggest assumption was coming in, that the numbers were, like, incremental. Okay, well, cool, I'm glad we figured that out. One, uh, what did I say, four, five, eight. There we go. All right. So we have two doors that we can go through. This one's a scaly one, this one's a less scaly one. Let's just go home, I wonder. Who's that? Okay, the Shadow Man's up in here. Got the gun! Oh! Bang, the Shadow Man! Goodness. Was that... <laughs> was that all I needed to do? I was kind of joking when I saw him. I was like, shoot the Shadow Man. But... I mean, it gave us another cube, right? So... Now we walk out into Starry Night. Look at that! So there's still some things that we're missing, right? So again, this might be something that I'll come back to um, in the future. But, okay, that's the second uh, chapter done, so we're going to keep going. This is so interesting, because it feels like the first cube escape was pretty significantly long. I mean, that took me like an hour and some change, right? And then these two have been kind of quicker. Um, Maybe I just struggled with the first one, or maybe it is just like they are legitimately longer that way. 
Like maybe these were released in like closer succession. All right, next chapter. Where are we at? Harvey's box. Rusty Lake presents. 1969. Where am I going? Okay. Spoon. Egg. All right. Do I need to bust the egg? No. Okay. Well, let's look around then. Oh. Always look for bits of paper. Are we in a box? We're like literally in a cardboard box. Whoa! Whoa! Rusty Lake Mental Health and Fishing. Again, this the mental health and fishing thing. So interesting. Whoa. Oh! Oh, I love it. Okay, wow. That's neat. Oh, I love that. Okay, what do we got here? Another color thing, or at least that symbol again. Oh, it probably means Rusty Lake, huh? The Lake Cigars. We have three cubes. 1894 is a year associated here. Ah, these are matchbooks. Look at that. I thought these were just books. Um, we have two bits of duct tape. Okay. What's with this guy? We have three bits of duct tape. Can I get in you with the spoon? Oh! Yikes. Okay. Oh. One, two, three. No, one, two. Okay, these are going to have to do with some code, right? It's, you know, zero, one, or two is, I'm guessing, the thing. Um, unless I can light them like candles. No? Okay. <laughs> Didn't think so. Um, oh, what do we have over here? Okay, up on the one side. And we know, okay, this, oh. Aha! There's bits of knowledge. Okay. Okay. Well, we know that now. Jeez Louise. I need to, like, screenshot that or something. Give me a sec. Uh, I'm going to take a picture on my phone so I can reference it without having to, like, mess with my recording. Okay. So now I'm going to have to do some trial and error because I don't know how to read sheet music. Um, it's not one of my skill sets. Look at that. We can kind of like see out the box a little bit. Um, paper clip. Let's take it. Or safety pin. Excuse me. Um, okay, before we mess with that, let's... What? Guess I missed this one before. I'm glad it's stuck. Okay, alright. We'll play this in a second. That looks fun. Um, we'll go to the comb in just a second, but now I know about this guy. Okay, 0221 is what I'm going to call that. Zero, two, two, one. Boom. Whoa! Okay. Oh! That was the box from above. What is this place? I need to get out of here. That was the box from above. Neat. Okay, uh, back to this nonsense. All right, let me figure out um, what uh, what our different things are. Oh man, my brain is not set up for things like this. We have to remember lots of digits and other such nonsense. Um, okay, got my phone over here so I can see it, and we are going to just gonna go. Down the line. Okay. So, the first two that we have on here are on the third line. I'm like touching my screen so that I can know. They're right on the middle of the third line. Like the third line goes through them. So, I believe that makes it... All right, it's either C or B. So let's look at C. Let's look at B. 
Which one of those is correct? It's B. So the first two are B. Okay, so B, B. Then we go two up from there, but not sharp. So if this is, if that's B, and I need to go up to here, then I need you. That's not sharp, right? No. I don't think this is sharp. So, five, one, two, three, four. Okay, it's D. All right. Okay, cool. Um, so, we'll go. So, it's B, B, D, D, B, B again. Then we have something sharp, something. Um, oh, is it? It's flat. D flat. Um, I, there, gosh, there was this line from a song that my friend wrote that was like, B sharp and A flat are the same thing, is what he said, which is like a joke because there is no B sharp, but there is A flat. Anyway, um, so uh, it's going to be this guy. Yes, so that would be... G, G flat, right? Because that's, ooh. no, it started over. Okay, well, that is, like I said, we'll just, we'll just say hashtag G. I think it's flat. Again, I don't know how to read sheet music. Um, okay, so then the next one was going to be, so let's, let's put this guy down so I can compare. Um, oh, I got it right. What was that, A? Yeah, A. Um, then it's going to be something like a B. Is that correct? Yes, yeah, okay. So it is the same as the beginning. B. And then it looks to me like we're going to go up to maybe D. Yep, that's a D again. Okay. Then we're going back down to, I think that's going to be another B. I'm just like, now I have some of this information already so I can like see it kind of. Then we go down to, oh, that is going to be a, an A again. A, B, D, A. I think that's an A. I'm just going to double check some of these. So this last, these last three, I think are D, B, A that I just looked at. So I'm going to go D, B, A. Did those two look right? Yep. Does that look right? Yes. Okay. So I think that's correct. DBA. Then we have... Is it G flat again? Yeah. Okay. Hashtag J. And then back up to A. Okay. If I've written this down correctly... It should go BB, DD, BB, GA. Whoa! Why did that? Okay, GA. That threw me off. B, D. B, A, hashtag G, A. Boom, baby. Play the song. Come on, play it. I want to hear it. No. I wanted to hear it. All right, we got a key. Maybe it's this guy? Probably not. Doesn't look... Oh, okay. I was going to say, it doesn't look like that kind of key. All right. Okay. Three flies, three bugs. Three insects, I think, were what those called. Never three in a row. Okay. So they can be flipsy, they can't be three in a row, and it looks like we have to do three and three. Um, okay, so that's the info that we got from there, is this. Did we get any other items? We got this knife, we have a cigar, we have a match. Okay. Um, let's go find them bugs. Oh! Somebody here? A stab open! Hello! Harvey's box, peekaboo! 
Toot toot. It's not actually making any noise. Or at least I can't hear it. <laughs> Alright, now he's not saying anything else. I'm wondering if that, like, that music mattered? Like, uh oh! Let's go back real quick. There is a limit. But there's no way that I could know what those numbers are. I'm just going to be honest. Um, Sup? Mr. Crow? These are the kinds of characters that are in, like, Rusty Lake and stuff. Hello? Mrs. Fish? Would you like a cigar, Mr. Crow? No? Okay, well, we'll come check y'all out in a second. It's stuck. Oh, let's do the dominoes! Okay. So, let's move them all away. So the way dominoes works, if you don't know. You line up same number with same. Right? So... This guy's a six. Here's the question. Does it need to be like this? Or does this does the six exist off the board? We're going to assume that it can be like that. So, the only two it could start with are these two. What happens if I do this? We snap into place? No. Okay. Um, so, we'll, we'll start with one, right? And then from there, we kind of go, okay, what could go next uh, in terms of the ones, right? Let's just kind of take stock. There's a one. There's a one, right? Um, that could be on this side. Obviously, you can't do that one. So if this is like this, it's got to go there, right? Got to be. Um, this one would need to be on the top or on the right. Is there a one on top? There is. There's only one. So we'd have to go there. Um, do we have a four on the right? We have one. We have two. Do we have a four on top? We have one. We have two. Um, do we have a one on the right? We do not. So there's no way that this could be the case. So we're going we're gonna to go for now with what I just said being valid. Um, the only thing that concerns me is if, oh, there's actually no way it could happen. I was like, if this is supposed to be a six and so then we need a six at the top or the six at the bottom, but I don't think we have any, or there's a six at the top or a six at the bottom. There's not. Cool. They looked into that. They figured that out. Okay. So then we're going to go with this to two. All right. So two on the right. Where are all of, where are all of our twos? Just give me all of our twos. These are our twos. Uh, is that it? Menu. Okay. Oh, <laughs> you were on there for a reason. So then twos, similar stuff as before. It's got to be, oh, it's the two or the three. Okay. This guy could be up and down or it could be left and right. So we don't know off the top of our heads which answer would be true. So we're just going to kind of try and build some things, right? We only have one three on the right, so we'll put that there. Now, do we have a five on the right? We have one five on the right. We have two fives on the right. Um, if I were to use this one, I could then use this three here. Okay. And we got a one over here, so this could either go vertical or horizontal. If it goes this way, then I need to use this other one, so like it would have to be like this or like this if I did it that way so it's something to consider because I could also do it like that and then like that right so for now we'll do this we'll just kind of see gosh I'm just winging it over here now uh, okay so this doesn't work what about you is there one at the bottom there's a one at the bottom here, but then there would need to be a one on the left, which there is. Okay. Then we would need a six here, so that doesn't work. So then, as this currently is, this can't work. But what if I do it like this?
Oh, man. Y'all saw that. Y'all saw that. Goodness. I got it. Jeez Louise. All right, that one took a bit. That one took a bit. That's going to mess with my record time. <laughs> what you got for me? All right, now we know about that. What's the other one? Give the cigar to the fish. And then something goes in there. Okay. Hello, fish. Okay, match it. No? Oh, what do I... So I need to clip it or something? Hold on. Spoot in here? No? Okay, so then let's give you this. Let me do this. Can I give you the match? So it needs to be like that. How do I light this? Do I need to like... Aha! Doot. Come on. There you go. Nope. Come on. Okay. Is it doing what it needs to do? Or... So you need to be smoking. Now what is what is with this? No, give it back. Can I make you like puff? No. Okay, let's make sure that he's in the right position. I guess. Left arm up at an L, right arm up like as if he's drinking. Is that correct? That looks correct. Is there something I need to give him? Give him the knife. No. Okay. Okay, at least it's staying there and it's staying lit. So we'll at least do that. Uh, it's stuck. Oh, just popped it open. Okay. Oh, right. So we need... Never three in a row, every row and column. Etc. Oh, okay. It is Sudoku. So these ones are guarantees here. So only three of each per row. Okay, well look, there's three of these guys, right? So then we know that these all have to be worms. And if there's two of these and one of these, and one and one, that means that there's six done here. So the, the closest row we're gonna have to be able to mess with is this one. We know it's got one of these. We know that two of these exist here, so we can only have one more of these guys. Let's go ahead and put it there. And then you're gonna need three of them. This guy's got two already. This guy's got three, so we can't put anyone here anyways. We've got one more spot we can put one of them up here. So let's do maybe like this and this and this. We're, we're kind of goofing a bit. Okay. So far, so good. Let's just fill out if if true what. So it should be like that. Like that. So we have three and three. 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 So like so far, so good. If these are all correct, then this needs to be a fly and a fly and a fly. Still looks good, still looks good. If that's true, then these need to be this. Um, if this is true, then this needs to be this uh, and this. If this is true, then that needs to be that, which means this needs to be this and that needs to be that. Let me see. Three and three. Three and three, three and three, three and three, three and three. Oh, there's something about like never in a row. 
Never three in a row. Do I have three in a row? Ah, here I have three in a row. Okay. Which of these can I swap and not goof very much? I have to like look for like a quadrant where I could just move shit around, but it doesn't change things. Like maybe these guys. So like if I go like you and you and then you and then you. Oh, that puts three in a row here. Okay. Let's go back to where that was. Cause it's all gotta be like, I'm not changing the values in either row because they're, they're being adjusted, you know, um, as they are. So... It's like a quadrant thing. This guy's got to change, because he's three in a row on both sides. So that's got to be that. So then that screws up this and this, so I need to lose a fly in both of these columns, or rows. So... If I lose this one... That's fine for them, and then I need to add one elsewhere. So let's start there. That puts a three in a row, and that one we know has to be that, so then I'd have to put a fly here, which would mean losing a fly. Just looking around, where could I lose one? Oh man, this is like now that I'm having to go back and fix this now, I've made it worse. Okay, three in a row. We're three and three. Good. We're three and three. We're good. We're three and three. We're good. We're three and three. We're good. Three and three. We're good. Three and three. We're good. Right? Three and three. Three and three. Three and three. Three and or two and four. Three and three. Two and four. Flipping Sudoku, man. Flipping Sudoku. I don't do Sudoku. Just don't do it. All right. Which one's messed up? You're messed up. Can't do three in a row. Can't do three in a row. Hmm. So you can't do three in a row of flies either. All right. If I leave and come back. <sighs> So frustrating sometimes. Okay. Nope. All right. We're going to clear the board again. Wish there was a clear board button. Is there? It's just a little... Do, do, do. Go. One, two, one, one. One, two. One, two, one, one. One, two. Okay. So... Here's some things that we know. This can't be a fly. That can't be a fly. That can't be a fly. This cannot be a fly because we can't do three in a row. This can't be a worm because we can't do three in a row. So that has to be that. This is a guarantee. This is all guaranteed. So now, what do we know? We have three wormies here, right? Whoops. So if that's the case, then we know it has to be fly fly, fly, right? We know that for a fact because we can't have threes in a rows anywhere and we know that there's three in here. So that's, that's gotta be, there's already three worms there. We know that those worms have to be there from this. So they, these have to be that. Okay. So then what does that tell us? Well, there's two of these guys in a row, so they must be flanked by worms. Uh, let's continue that thought process. If we have that elsewhere, Seems like that's the only one. Nope, here we know we have to have flies on either side because of those two next to each other. So then we know that has to be that. We've got our three here. So then these have to be this. Okay, and we know what's going on here. So that has to be that. We know that there's two in a row of this. So that's got to be that, which means that has to be that. Uh, has to be a worm. Has to be a worm. Um, has to be a worm. And that's a fly, because that completes that. We got three, three. Uh, we know that that has to be a fly, and that has to be a worm. Yeah! 
Nailed it. Fireflies. Is that all I grab? Is that all I grab from here? Okay. Cool. Process of elimination. Got to do all that nonsense. And there it goes. All right. So we have three fireflies. Okay. Completed that. Completed the dominoes. Hello, bird. Do you want a firefly? No. Um, what do we do with the fireflies? There's a shadow there of the bird. Is there anything else? Like... So we got the pin, right? Haven't used the pin for anything yet. Done the fruit. Locked. Uh, can I mess with it anymore? No. Okay, so it's locked. I can't go down into the stairwell again. What do I do with you guys? I have a spoon. I have some of those guys. I've got instructions for that. And what are you about? Yeah, you're about... I don't even know. I'm still confused about what's going on. Oh, hold on. Ah. Because there was stuff about what positions they needed to be in. She needs to be like that. And then what's the down? What's the downward arrow? But otherwise, I think they're good. He's holding his nose, his beak, his head's like that, arms up. Oh! Now I can click on it. Okay. What is the value of this? Is there somewhere that tells me how full that should be? Because all this says is... You know, it has the downward arrow. Um, huh. Okay, so then it wants it like that, and then it wants the glass all the way down, I guess, right? What is the purpose of the wine? Is there some other piece? Hmm. What am I missing? Like, this is the thing that annoys me. And what is the value of this glass? Can't do anything with this. Seemingly can't do anything with the spoon. Oh my gosh. Hold on, hold on, okay. So what are our sounds? Okay, I gotta write these down. It's the bird. It's the bird is what it is. Um, let's see. Where's my pencil? Where's my pencil? Okay. See, you always got to mess around in these games, y'all. You always got to play around. Okay. So, the lowest one is... Oh, gosh. I'm, I'm just writing down these notes for me. My goodness, hold on. Gotta do a text. Let's see.
Okay, so, got that note. Okay, then next comes little squiggly dude. I'm assuming these will all look like visually different and that's what's gonna work for me. Yeah, then we have it flipped the other way. Then I'm assuming it's the double. Yeah, okay. So then I'm gonna just have to, while I'm looking at it, kind of read out the numbers to myself. So, look at the Boyd. So that's a that's a four, we'll just say. Uh, three. Two. One. Four. Okay, four, three, two, one, four. Nice. Bird. Oh, what's happening? It's about as far as I can pull it. Oh. Uh, uh, a feather. Harvey's box seven. Forgetting that feather. What do I do with said feather? Let's look up. Okay, I thought maybe there was something up there when I looked. So, we got a feather. What can we do with a feather? Um, can we clip it to something? No. I mean, can we set it on fire? No, because I can't pick it up. Well, let me pick it up. Um, is there anything else? I'm holding this down. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, nothing up there. So the feather. What do we do with the flipping feather? <laughs> okay. Let's look around. A little confused. Can't interact with it in any way. This is the stuff that always gets me in this game, is when, like, seemingly you've reached the end of something, and yet, you know... You've got nothing, you know? So this was used for this. So that was the song. All this is good to go. Pulled on that. Got a feather. Bird looked away, all cheeky. So I go into here. Oh! Is that different? No, no, no. We got that after I completed that. Okay, so feather, can I chop you up? No. Can I set you ablaze? No. Can I grab you with a safety pin? No. Can I pick you up with a spoon? No. Will fireflies go pawn you? No. What do you matter? Like... <sighs> Give me that back. I stick you on the end of a cigar? See, like, what is, what, what is this? What is this? What is your value? What is your purpose? How do? Oh, it's so frustrating. Because now we're at the very cryptic part of this, you know? Can I knife this open? No. Can I knife these guys open? No. Can I safety pin these guys? No. Oh, shoot, man. Aha! Saw those. Saw those pins. Okay, you. Then... Now what? You? Nope. Gonna pin this down? There we go! Oh, great! We did it! We died! Okay. Was that not the end? Is that not what we were supposed to do? Okay. Hold on. Grab the knife. Get ready. Bah! Stab! How about fireflies? Okay. Fireflies! Aha! Thought so. The light. The light! I've escaped the box. 
There's one secret we didn't get with the music, which I'm guessing has to do with maybe interpreting the uh, the bird song into the um, onto the comb is my guess. Like paying attention to the different tones, matching them up with the letters and then lining that up. That's my guess. Okay, that one took way longer than I expected. Um, I'm still gonna record one more because I know I probably uh, cut that down to a degree um, during the domino part because that took me so long. Um, but I'm gonna take a quick break myself. Uh, we'll keep recording and I'll do at least one more and we'll see how long that goes. Okay. Okay, back to Cube Escape, case 23. So what is this? This is our third one for the day. This will be like our fourth on the episode, I think. Okay, oh, chapter one of four. If this one's got chapters, we may have to do this one next time. But I'll go ahead and I guess start it, and we'll see how long it takes. Okay. Chapter one of four, the murder scene. It was the strangest scene I had ever seen in my long career as a homicide detective. First time I stepped into that room, I knew there was something more than just a dead body. All right, so now we're investigating. So what have we done? We've done Harvey's box, where we were a tiny box. We've done the lake, where we had the fishing rod and all that stuff, and we found the body in the water. And we had the uh, the first one with the house and the time stuff. Um, okay. The murder scene. Oh, okay, okay. We know her. We're on the other side. We're in the moon. Right? Is my guess? Okay, I can move her hair. Ew! B-O. Come here. Couldn't grab it. Okay. She doesn't do that again, does she? Okay. Oh! Okay, we got paper. Let's see, is there anything in her other hand? No, ear. No. Okay. Um, What do you got for me? Just this paper. Okay. And it's got like a symbol, like a cube with a fire on top. There's an eye and a little dot. Okay. Oh, uh, hold on. I forgot about this room. There's also this room, the bedroom in Arl. So, um, yeah. Okay. All right. Something like this, something like the remember the seasons thing as well. Interesting. Uh, okay. What should we got? Okay. We got lady and then we got bird we got the murdered lady we've got the fish lady who are you supposed to be but we have like mr mr Ra raven or whatever mr crow then we got the lady who was murdered i always forget her name we've got the fish and we got the shadow man and within the shadow man there's a rose okay oh who do i give the rose to probably you considering Right? Okay. Hmm. Well, we'll figure that out. Uh, okay, that's locked. That's locked. Look at these books. All right, is this something like matching stuff maybe? Huh. I'm guessing this is like matching things. So like this is a book on the end. So then like if we go like maybe you. Oh. Hold on. How can I lower you? Oh, this moves. Oh, okay, why was the okay that why was that one being held up for a second? All right, well now it seems to be doing whatever it's supposed to be doing. So I wanted it to be like you. Ah, okay, all right, okay, all right. So these are all the ones with the arrows on them, right? Okay, so I guess blue. Okay. Okay, blue, and then... 
Maybe... Uh, you. Okay. So then we have a cross. Can I do a cross? Okay, and then can I lift this cross? Okay, can I grab that green? Because it's the green, and then... Then with that, we have... Ah, oh, shoot. Another cross. We got ourselves a purple. Got ourselves a this purple. We can lift up... Red, and then it's all gone, yeah. Okay, all right, I'm getting it. You can lift up one of a type at a time. We have two squares, like reds, that are just red. And so those have to be sandwiched between two other reds. Like when I lift something up, like let's say I lift up the green. I can lift up anything else that has green on it, which is this guy. Then here, I think I can lift up anything with a cross. So I should be able to lift up that guy, or that guy, or that guy, or that guy. But if I touch something that doesn't have one of these symbols, like this guy... Oh. Well then. That changes everything. Like, okay. So then maybe it has to do with the symbols. So let's say square first. Square, then cross. So that if it's square, then cross, then doing this should break it. Okay. So if I go square, square, then cross, then... I could do... Square again, and then I could do square purple, then I could do purple, then I could do this purple, then I could do, um, here I got that purple, I could get this guy up, then I could do any of the white striped ones, and I need the blue one as well, so we'll go, I need to end, I need to get this red one up, I need to get these green ones up, so that one, we can go with the greens from there, wait, no, put that down. Ah, oh, crap. That one's stuck. Um, okay. I think I goofed myself a little bit here. Yeah. Okay. But I'm getting, I'm getting the thing. You know, I'm getting that it's a thing. Um, we'll come back here in a sec. I just want to see what else is around. Okay, we've got an iron. That's not plugged in, I guess. I think it's supposed to be plugged in. It just animates like that. Okay, we got some drawers. One of them's locked. Nothing in the empty ones. Got the scramp and the fish and the shell. We know these guys. We know all these guys. Always recurring themes, recurring characters, if you will. Oh. Let's see, I don't think that's Cactus Neo Books Balmia. Cactus label. Close, close. Okay. You're dead. Yep. Police line, do not cross. I need all the evidence first. That's right. We're the detective. That's right. Ah, okay. This can go here. Okay, burning cube. Burning home. Mental health and fishing. Rusty Lake. We know all about that. Oh. I seem to snap in specific areas. It's neat. Okay, anyway. Um, beetle. Let's follow you. Because we, we we seen him. We seen the beetle. Oh, there he is. The edges that they walk on don't necessarily correspond to which way they go when it goes across the ceiling. It's like a little confusing, the orientations. Where you going, little bud? Oh. Squish. Yep. Oh, and he had a key. It's always the bugs with the keys, or the little critters with the keys. That one's still locked. That key doesn't work for that. What else is locked? One of these guys. There we go. What do you got? Okay. Number four is an X over her eye. Okay. Parrot Satakus. Okay, so we're, we're going to have to do some stuff with taxonomy. Because we have the name of the parrot, and then we have the name of the cactus, in terms of their scientific names. Check the cushions. Aha! Number two. Learning some alchemy stuff, y'all. Do, 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 do. Uh, okay. So there's number two. So, a cube, the power of the cube in the hand creates a fire. The fire goes out of control and burns the home, and then... 
something about the eye. It's, that's how I'm interpreting it right now. Okay, got a cigar. It's lit, that could be fire in my hand. Oh, hold on. Click too much. Phone. Okay, so I will be able to enter numbers. So I just wanted to know if that's kind of what we're going to be looking for there. Uh, took the cigar from there. I don't see anything hiding on the edges, so let's click on the Daily Herald. All right. Zero, two, four, something, something, something. Uh, mental fishing, finish the puzzle, call the number below and say the word. Painter of the Lady of the Wake. I can't enter these in, can I? Parrot, nail buxomius, so this is cactus. All right, I got to... I gotta do this for myself because this is how my brain works. Give me some scratch paper. I've always got some like note cards. I have like my top drawer of my desk is just filled with note cards. Um, most of them blank, but hidden underneath a layer of things that I need to sort through and throw away. What can I say? I'm a note card kind of guy. All right, so the first one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I'm just. Laying out a little grid for myself. Okay, so nine is the most, and it's the first two. Do, 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 do. I wish I could type in it. You know? Okay, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and that starts at number two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Okay, and then we have a five underneath that, which starts at the same place as the three. So one, and then we go here, and then do that, one, two, three, four, fine. Okay, and then it's this line, line number six, essentially, column number six, right? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. So what do we know just off the top of our heads? Number three we know is cactus, so C, A, C, that letter is a T right there in that column. Uh, Vincent Van Gogh, bedroom in Arles, right? Arles. A-R-L, it's an E at the end, S. Parrot, it's like Patricus or something like that, right? Um, Satakis. So, that one was, was that number one or number two? Because they are different amounts. Whoops. Uh, oh no, they're the same, they're the same. Don't know why I thought they were different. All right, P, S, I, T, T. Psittacus. I can actually kind of read it from there. P-S-I-T-T-A-C-U-S, -T -T yeah. Okay, so then that's an A. So it's A-T-E are the letters, so there's one more left. What is the name of the painter of the Lady of the Lake, right? What was the thing? Oh, that door's gone. Painter of the Lady in the Lake. I don't know off the top of my head. Like, what's her name? I don't remember. Best typewriter for you. Crow! Okay. Painter of the Lady of the Lake. Why is this causing me so much issue? Something in your eye that I can get? No? Okay. My thing is, is this information in here is my question. Or is this stuff I'm supposed to know from the previous ones? Oh, goodness. Sitakis on paper. Oh, do I need to actually be physically putting these things in? Oh, I do. Bedroom in. Okay. Arles. So I do actually need to be grabbing these things and doing this. That I did not know. Okay. So then... Painter of the Lady of the Lake. I feel like, so there's something else I need to do first. I've got fire, right, with the uh, cigar. Is there a cube anywhere that I can set on fire? Oh, you know what? Let's mess around with these now. Now that I've kind of, you know, solved it. Okay, so it starts on the green. 
when I okay, I'm gonna leave. Let's come back. Actually, no, hold on. Let's put this down. I'm gonna leave. Come back. It goes up. All right, so we're gonna start with the way that it starts. So the only one I can do uh, from there is here. I think that the next one I should do is a cross because what we want to do is do our best to eliminate all the crosses and then find ourselves in another space. Now, I need to make sure I leave myself a way of ending on like this guy maybe or on I just need to make sure that I get I end on black so I can grab this guy yeah because that can't go anywhere else purple's tricky as well actually no no because no, purple can go to red okay so we're on yellow we need to go down a yellow pathway um, is there any yellow pathway that can come back around so we're gonna go like um you, 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 you. Okay, so all the purple's gone, all the green's gone. We can pick from a red now, and red can lead me back to white, and white can lead me down to this guy. So let's go, so I can go red. Let's go. Um, I mean, red, red, yellow. Um, Red, red, blue. I mean, I can do blue, white, red, white, 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 black, black. Boom, right? Hey, there we go. What do you got? Aha, got it. Okay, so the first one is a cube, right? Come on. The second one is a hand. Let's go back. Of course I went the wrong way. Okay, so. That's so interesting. So it's like a cube, a hand, a house, and an eye, but like. What? So it's a cube, a hand, a house. Is there anything here that looks even house related? Or is that all just like this related? So that's an eyeball for sure. That one. Okay. Okay, there's got it. There's there's something else that I need info on. Which one of you gets the rose? Okay. Can I put him back in? No. So you can't Connect them back up to each other, can you? I'm putting... Oh! Okay, so gave her the rose, closed her, she gave me a fish bone. I'm going to give the fish to... Oh, okay, no, 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 okay. Fish bones go to the fish. I thought it was going to be like the bird eats it. Okay, then we get a drop of blood, which I assume goes with her. And then we get an egg, which goes with him. And then we get a cube, right? No, a key. So if I do that, do you give me something? No, I just pick it up. Okay, now I have a key. What do you got? Flies. Why do I have a jar of flies? What do I do with the jar of flies? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh. Interesting. If I leave and come back, does something happen? No. Can I put more flies in here? No. Just let it fall? Maybe I need to get it into there. Yeah. Bank shot. Ew. Gross. What's going on there? Can I grab it? Okay. 
It was weird. Oh, once you hit this, it like keeps going. I mean, that looks like a perfect shot right there. Okay, so maybe I need to grab the jar to grab him back. Oh, no, okay. So then maybe get this one over towards the scramp, maybe? No? Cool, all right. You chomp chomp. Oh, a new key. Okay, all right. So I think the first one I had left like one of the fins going, and I didn't realize that, and that was like keeping it floating. Okay, what you got for me? A folder. The Lady of the Lake by Lacus Fleo. Okay, cool. So now I've got that info. That helps us solve uh, the puzzle. Okay. Fate. Fate on paper. Okay. Well then. I think that goes up here. Fate on paper. And this says Lady of the Lake. Oh, open this. Aha. Uh -huh. She's got that cube. Whoa. This is showing me how to solve the books, maybe? Hold on. Oh, man. Uh... Like, okay. Like, what do these correspond to? Wow. Okay. Um, because... Like, we know that that goes here. And those symbols don't necessarily match these. So there's the cigar. Oh, hold on. Yeah, okay, got it. Um, open this, do this, open that. Cigar burns, right? Oh. Where? Oh! Hold on. So it's... The cube, the hand, the house, and the eye. Oh, I can do it from here. I don't have to do it over there. Okay. Let's actually go to here and do it. It's just easier this way, I'm sure. So the cube... is an eyeball, so that's number four. The eye on this side is a square. The house is a target, and the hand is that guy. So we've got uh, eyeball, downward triangle, target, square. Do, 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 do. Eyeball. Downward triangle. Uh, reticle. Not target. And square. Boom. 024355. That's got to be the phone call we got to call, right? Let me write that down. 024355. I'd love it if I could peel this off just like I did with all this other stuff. Um, okay. Let's try this. Uh, no, not you. Boop. You. Click. Zero. Two. Click, 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 click. Give me the sound. Four. Click, 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 click. That's what I want to hear. Uh, three. Five. Five. There we go. Hello. 
Hello? Hello, this is Detective Dale Vanderman. Yes. Is this Rusty Lake? Fate. Uh, fate? I'm sorry. Okay. Flesh is already sleeping. Okay. Whoa. What's going on? Oh, whoa. Stuff's happening. The world shaketh. Uh, what happened? Oh, great. Hi. Okay. Love it, I guess. Okay, lots of mods. Need all the evidence. Okay. Oh, whoa. Okay. What's going on here? Oh, oh. 1421. Okay, that was here. One. Open. What are you? Another folder. The evidence. The Rusty Lake Archive. Whoa! Okay. Alright, that was chapter one of case 23. Wait, let's keep going. Let's keep going. I think we can get through this one, um, and then we'll call that an episode, so maybe it'll be two long videos over three. It really depends on how long they end up being. They are variable in length. Okay. Uh, all right, so got a projector screen. Oh, that's like to clear the screen. Good to know. Mirror. That's not me. I guess it is. That's me looking tired. Okay. Yep. Yep. I see that. I can. Okay. I can see that. Wait. Oh, that's the line for that. So it's a little dot. I was like, oh, that's something. Oh. Okay. We're gonna have to put the dots together, right? House, chapel, cabin. No. Okay. So this is just stuff for us to know. How C, A, B, how all these connect, and then, like, specifically these, like, things between them. Okay. Nothing on the coffee cup yet. Okay, screwdriver. Great. Numbers on paper. Uh, hold on. And that marker. Okay. What's with the numbers on paper? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, the old man walked beside the lake as he approached. Okay, we're going to find pieces of that. Uh, real quick, I want to try this out. No? Okay, because, yeah, we're going to do something, and then that's going to be... We're going to draw on there. I think maybe these numbers on paper, because I can't look at them. I think we're going to project them on, and it's going to be like a, a paint-by-numbers kind of deal. Uh, yep, there we go. Uh, okay. Okay, that's on. Uh, you. Cool. So, if we do this, it goes like... 1 to 2, to 3, to 4, to 5, to 6, to 7, to 8, to 9. That can't be right. Um, so we're going to have to find some numbers that will tell us what order to do that in. Okay. Anything in any of these guys? A map. Oh, I have an idea for that map. Coffee filter and a razor. Okay, real quick. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, the chapel, the cave, and the bridge, th this is how these connect. So my thought is like, it's gonna need to match that in a way, right? So we got the, the mill, got the chapel, we got the bridge. Um, what's connected to what is the question. Wait. Yeah, you. You know what? I'm going to do the thing. It's just going to be so much easier for me. I'm going to take a screenshot. Uh, you know, it's easier than me writing stuff down sometimes. I'm not drawing all them pictures. Okay. A, B, C. That's so interesting. All right, we're going to go to the map. Oh, actually, hold on. Real fast. Let's go here. Let's do this. As he approached the mill, the time stopped. Oh, the old man walked beside the lake. As he approached the mill, the time stopped. Okay, so we need to wait until we have all this, I think. Okay, coffee. Here's your filter. Also, let me just move this up here. 
Okay. Alright, I'm gonna need coffee grounds. Oh! Right, okay. That didn't stay, did it? Okay. So we're gonna have to type something there. Uh, anything above us? Okay, the ceiling fan is now on. You just click it and it goes on. Now maybe that messed with stuff, I don't know. Oh! Okay, we've got ourselves someone in custody. He looks like, color-wise, I feel like he matches some characters we've seen um, in the Rusty Lake games. Um, the numbers appeared above the lake. The old man walked beside the lake. As he approached the mill, the time stopped. The numbers appeared above the lake. That is cryptic. Let's do it again. Let me let me screenshot that. Just because I'm not, you know. In, will this work? All right. My phone. You know, it's that whole thing now where phones will be like, "Oh, would you like me to transcribe that for you?" It's like, come on, dude. Just need to be able to see it. All right. Where's my projector screen? Okay. So the old man walked beside the lake until, oh, let me read it. We're just gonna, we're gonna screw around on here just to see if, if something matters. Let's, oh, 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 can I put them on at the same time? There was something I was gonna try later. I thought I was gonna have to draw on the map and then do that, but can I put them on at the same time? No. Darn. Okay, well then I'm gonna do something like this just so I see where that is and then we'll go like this and then time stopped or something like that um, Then I want to grab this. Oh, oh That's right. I have to do it here Because it said the numbers would appear above the lake so two and nine Would have to be the numbers six would be the stop Or it's gonna go six two nine Right were there any other things mentioned? Um, let's look at my pictures. The old man walked beside the lake. As he approached the mill, the time stopped. The numbers appeared above the lake. All right. Well, we're going to sit on this for a little bit. Um, what do we do here? A, B, and C. Oh! Okay. So if I connect these things to each other... Okay, 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 okay. So first things first. We're gonna, we're gonna clear this board. Clear it. We're gonna go put the thing back down. I think we have the right idea. I think that I need to do it in a different way. So, back around. Okay, and then let me pull up that image on my phone of the board, the cork board, and then we'll do our best to combine those things together. So, I need to go from the chapel to the bridge and the cabin to the bridge. So, this is the chapel, right? To the bridge, oh to the bridge. Where's the cabin? House, chapel, cabin, mill, bridge, and cave. Where's the cabin? Is that the cabin or is that the house? Okay, I don't know about that. Mill to the cave, though. I do know. Um... And I know that when bridge and chapel and mill and cave cross, this is B. We know that, okay? Then we know C is over here. What we don't know is A, which would be the intersection of chapel. Oh no, we do. It's the intersection of chapel and cave here. Of 
Chapel and cave, no, and cabin and bridge. So we're gonna call that, that, so then we'll go A. Okay. We're gonna call that good. Okay, go back, go back, back here, close that, grab that, turn around. What have you got for me? CB, so seven, four, six is what we're gonna say. Seven, four, six. Let's try that. Seven, four, six. Hey, hi. Don't get murdered again, please. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, coffee? Is screwdriver? Okay, don't know what you want yet, but your hand is there. Okay, did I... Let's try that again. Seven, four, six. Okay, so she's there, she reaches her hand out, and she's like, gimme! You know, it's a normal hand, right? The nails make it look creepy, but it's like, they're just long hands, but or long nails, but it's just like... The, the concept, a little creepy. Okay. Oh, did these open? They do. Coffee. All right. I guess we'll assume there's water in it. I didn't see a sink or anything. Um, let's take the coffee. Okay. Well, I guess we need water. Okay. Let's see. Oh, there's our coffee mug. Um, okay. Give me that. I have a wild idea. Oh, there is a sink. I am silly. I was so focused on that guy. Okay. Easy. My bad. Literally a sink right there. I think I blocked it out of my memory because of, like, staring at myself in the mirror. Oh, wait, no, not like that. Uh, do I need, like, unscrew this? Like, what's going on here? There we go, thank you. Goodness. Alright. Speaking of which, let me take a sip of mine. It's actually decaf, because I need to get more coffee, so it's all I have, but... Maybe I can trick my mind, you know? All full? Okay. Let's take that. So, I think we go over here and put it in this coffee cup. It's my first guess. Yep. Okay. Oh! Two, four, seven. <laughs> a damn fine cup of coffee. That's a uh, Twin Peaks reference. Two, four, seven. Alright, we've got numbers. Is that going to be another channel? So let me write down then the other one. It was seven, four, six, I believe. Or seven, three, six. Let's go look real quick. Seven, four, six. Okay. Just double checking. All right. So this next one is two, four, seven, two. Oh, we don't know necessarily. Okay. Okay. Shadow Monster Man. Hello. Okay, let's go look at him in the window now. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! Well, there's our cube. Um, yeah, let's just close that up. Don't want to look at that. Okay. Well, we got a cube. Oh, hold on a second. It's always important to look around, you know. <gasps> Kitty! Evil eyes. Okay, can I shave you, kitty? No. What do I do with cat? Do you want the cube? You want a cube for a kitty? Alright, we'll leave you up there for now. Okay, nothing there. Can I put the cube on there? No. Um, and again, like, look at all the stuff that's the same. Just like, reminder, like, the table. We've seen this table before, right? In Arles. Uh, what else we got? 
anything else I can take from here? No. We know we busted out. That we do know. All right, so we're going to go back to that channel. 247? No. Is that what it was? Yeah, okay. And now it doesn't do anything. Um, oh, you know what? Maybe I can give her the cube. 746. Yep, reach on out. Nope. How about some coffee? Nope. Okay. All right, what else have we got? I can't think of anything that I have that the cat would want. Or that I've even seen. Okay. I don't know what to type. House, we just don't know where it is essentially, or no one went to the house. Okay, we got our 247, that was our uh, place to go. Nothing in there for a cube. Walk beside the lake as he approached the mill, the time stopped. The numbers appeared above the lake. Now let's put the map back down. Just wondering if I can, you know, go above the lake, right? Put the cube on there, right? No. What if I put the cube on the projector? No. <sighs> Kitty, what do I do? Kitty, what do I do? Why are your eyes like that, huh? How do I get you out of here? Like I thought maybe I could shave the cat, you know? Draw on the cat. Give the cat some coffee. No. All right, so cat just stays there for right now. Anything above us? That's spinning. Doesn't do anything when you do that, okay. Like we don't know, like maybe man walked lake mill stopped numbers. Like, I don't know. It's not like I can put these together in a different way, right? Oh, that's always stuck there, yeah. Like, why are these underlined? You approach the mill, the time stopped. So, the old man walked beside the lake. As he approached the mill, the time stopped. The numbers appeared above the lake. Okay. All right, let's go back to this one. Let's see if we can't get something on the map that's different, right? Okay. Oops. Okay, uh, so we, um, just got to read this again. The old man walked beside the lake. So we're just going to go kind of like this. As he approached the mill, time stopped. The numbers appeared above the lake. I don't know, man. Like... Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum. 926? 926? No. 962. Trying to think the order that the other ones were in. It was ABC, right to left. Darn. Wait, the numbers appeared above the lake, maybe? Hold on. 
Okay, so then let's try back to the map. I think I did this before where I like underlined the top half, right? To see. So this was his path. And then I'm just going to do one of these, right? And also do that. So it's like anything in this space, maybe anything in this space, maybe, or anything along that line. Um, God, it's tricky. Like this is all just a guess. We're just playing around. A map. Let's swap you guys. I'm probably done with the screwdriver. Numbers on paper. Okay. Okay. Boop. Boop. You. <sighs> Three, two, nine. Let's try that. So we're just reading left to right. Three. Two, nine, no. Then how about we do reverse? Nine, two, three, no. Hmm. It's very confusing, because I think that the idea is there. I think it's about connecting letters and lines together, right? Is it saying that like he went in this direction? Is that what he's saying? Like cabin, boom, 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 boom. Like do I need to do it like that? Cabin to bridge to chapel to cave to mill. Cabin to bridge, to cave, to mill. Ba -na -na. It's wild. Because I already kind of did this, just in one contiguous motion. So it's cabin to bridge. Oh. Cabin to bridge. Bridge to chapel. Chapel to cave, cave to mill, and then it's our A, our B, and our C. So this is from before. Um, said so the time stopped here, right? And then the lake is up here. Gosh. Like, I think we have to figure out where the house is, maybe. Um... Because this is just going to give me the same answers as before. Oh, I should look in the mirror. I should shave. That's what I should do. Yep. Just remember that I got a beard. Looking smooth. Yep. Hair in the sink. Yep. Let's clog that drain. Probably. Oh. Hello, young crow. There we go. I forgot about the the mirror. Here you go, cat. Yep, enjoy that. Okay. Is there anything else you're gonna do, or is that that's that? I fed you fed you the crow. And now you're being a butt. Oh, oh, he's gone now. Cool. Just had to go away. All right, we got an egg, and that's some poops. Okay, where do we put the egg? In here, maybe? What do we do with an egg? What do I do with an egg? Man, all they ever do is give you more crap to try and figure out. Um, I can't do anything more in here, and I can't pick up what I'm assuming is poop. Um, nothing. I don't think there's any 
Oh, excuse me. Oh, okay, no, I picked it back up. I was like, are you kidding me? Um, thought maybe we do egg coffee, you know? Oh, you know what? Maybe we boil the egg? How do we get rid of the coffee? Uh, let's go over here. Can I pour it out? No. So then maybe I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. No, I can't can't pour it out, so. Like we know we have baby crow, but it's not like crow is anywhere in here, is he? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I thought I saw a crack there. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, you can only look at it when the thing's down. Okay. I was like, what if it does something on the wall? Egg on my face. No. Part of me also thought, you know, you put it in the this cup, right? Hmm. Doesn't help that I don't need eggs. I don't know what you do with an egg. Gosh. What in the heck, man? What do you want an egg for? This crap makes no sense to me. Old man walked beside the lake. As he approached the mill, he stopped. Numbers appeared above the lake. It's like... It's so confusing. Like it feels like it has to do with the map, right? Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. No, oh, gosh darn it. I'm trying to do this. I'm getting too many items. Get over here. Probably don't need the racer anymore, to be honest. Um, okay, map. Uh Okay. Said so he walked along the lake. But like from where to where? I'm just so confused. It's like I guess it could also be like this direction. Right? I guess? Like 136 maybe? Oh my gosh. I always go around like the full way. One, three, six, no. It makes no sense. We don't know anything about an old man. We're just gonna say man, space, walk. What's this? Oh my gosh. Man. Oh, walk. Oops, walked. I see. Lake. Okay. What was the next one? Hold on, pulling up my thing. 
mil. Can I type? No. Mil. When you walked by the mill. Okay. And then numbers. Is that the next one? Three, nine, two. Wow. Okay. Okay. That was a whole thing. The egg threw me off. Didn't need it yet. Thank you. Okay, we got one cube, right? Eek. Okay. Anything change? Wait, where's the front door? Am I forgetting something? No, 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 different level, different level. Okay. Well. Where's our other cube? Yamin? Come on. Okay, we're gonna see if we can't go back inside and just, maybe this will take us out. Right, oftentimes with the cubes, you just click on them. Um, goodness. This is the stuff that always gets me is when you complete something and you feel like, okay, I've done everything I can. What do I do next? And it's like, no, no, you still have half of it to figure out. Um, all right, we're gonna swap this out again. I want to see if anything did appear above the lake now. Because, like, you know? Okay. Like, where else have I read something here? Or heard a story? Flipping game, man. <sighs> Can I like throw coffee on the on this? No. Egg. Thought like maybe the maybe you'd like throw it at it and it shows you what the things are. Okay, so then another thing I can think of is like cube. Nope, excuse me. No. How about white cube? Okay, clearly not. Okay. Let's try... Like, how do I clear the paper? can't. So this is only for this. It has to be. I feel like I'm supposed to do something with that lamp. Okay, now it's about looking in all the little edges. Is anything hiding behind here? You know? Is anything hiding on these edges? Can I move these around? No. Put it in there. Still really confused about this egg. You know what I mean? Because I want to say I want to boil it, you know? But how do I get rid of the coffee? I can't. Egg. Shave again. Nothing else, right? Yeah. <sighs> okay. No egg in the sink. No egg in the sink. 
Like the coffee, I would feel like you should be able to empty, you know? Back it up, Get that up. Okay, looking for more BS. I'm confused. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. What was the first one again? 746. Lady with the hand. Do you want any of these things now? Like, do you want the egg? Oh, there we go. Crush Mr. Crow's egg. Oh, give me the cube. There we go. Okay. That's what it, it's always. It's always there. But sometimes it's very rough. Okay, where did we see the cubes again? On the TV. On the TV. We go to... Oh crap, what were the numbers? 329? I forget. I can go look, but... Okay. I didn't write these ones down. 392. Knew the numbers, wrong order. Alright, 392. All right, white cube. There you go. We did it. Case 23, two. Okay. Oh. Pew. Oh, okay. We're going to space. All right. Chapter three of four, the chapel. The chapel chapter, if you will. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, we got two torches that can be lit. We got a place where the cube definitely goes. This thing opens for sure. We got some arrows. Ceiling is very ornate. Could mean something. Wow, okay. Flip in the room or Da Vinci. My goodness. Incredible. Open. Okay, that's ink. Oh, y'all. These are my kinds of puzzles, y'all. Okay. Oh. All right. We recognize that. Oh. Locked. How do I move you? Because I can't yet. Okay, we need a key for that one. Oh, okay. Uh, this one goes... Like that? Yep. Made that connection pretty quickly. Um, okay, middle has to say the same. Boom, cube, open, key. Heart, okay, something with a heart. We've got a key, do you open this guy? No, do you open this guy? You do, okay. Bird skull. Crow skull. All right. We'll probably have to put something in that then. Uh, how about you? Oh, this is an interesting thing. It's like a uh, flipping pipe dream. Uh, how's that not right? It must be. Like, it, it connects. Ah, okay. I don't know why it wasn't letting me before. All right. So then I'm guessing these go here. How about you go there? Nope. Do you go there? Oh, that looks right. Okay, missing one of these. Need keys, need a, something to do with a shell. Locked, heart, don't know anything about numbers. Feeling like we've cleared this for now. Got a good chunk of it done. Okay, wow, okay, some slide puzzles. We know this one before. Something about this is cool. Okay, this is very much a traditional escape room type game. This this level. Oh, okay, we're just flipping. That's the better kind of slide puzzle for me at least. Uh, like that, that, that. There you go. Doot. 
Wow. Because it's the frame, so. Pretty easy one to solve there. And here. Nope. Oh, gosh, did it again. That and that. Perf. Give me that cube. Okay. Um, this one's a traditional slide puzzle. These two are in the right spot. That one's going to have to go all the way over here, maybe? No. Oh, no, these go to the bottom. Okay. That goes to the top. Let's get these guys down here. Uh, I want these flipped, which is always tricky to do, in my opinion. All right, that's in the right spot. These guys are in the right spot. Uh, you always want to, like, clear the, like, a section is kind of how it goes. So where's the other one on the bottom? You guys are where you need to be. It's this one. Okay. Dude. You have to, like, make space. It's a whole thing. All right. These, this bottom part's all done. You need to go probably upper left. Yeah, so you're in the right spot now. And then, I know I moved this guy, but we'll uh, work on getting them back around. You need to be all the way over here. You need to be, that's where you need to be is right next, right above that one. So, okay, then it's, you need to go there, you're in the right spot. Um, boom, nailed it. Okay, oh. White cube, black cube. Ah, gimme. I think because I solved both sides is my guess. Because there's a cube on the left and then there's this over here. Um, okay. Okay, so we need to look below. One, four, eight. Gonna write that down. And then we know that there's the um, thing on the other side. So, oh, bird's eye, okay. So then we wanna go cross, angy, loud. Okay, got that. Eyeball, bird, sad. Oh, cool, there we go. Eyeball, bid, sad. Nope, hold on. What do I click on when I do that? Is it that I have to leave and then come back? That's the one, right? Yeah, that's correct. Do I need to like... Okay, let's let's go open this thing up and maybe we'll learn something. One, four, eight, was it? Open. Ah, last piece of this. Throw you on there. Candle. Uh, let's go light those torches. Oh, not yet. You and you. Ooh, throw the cube on there. Okay. Ooh, it shows the cross up here. Did I get some pieces from that? Oh, there we go. Didn't notice them popping up everywhere. Um, do, 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 you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Just gonna look at the lake again. It's always this dude out on the lake. It's always about this dude on the lake. Left, right, left, left, right, right is something to know as well. Got to remember that. Left, right, left, left, right, right. It might have been for something I did on its own. Um, oh, that time it worked. Oh, because I put the eye in there. Okay. 
then Jem sleeping loud. Yes, yeah, this one. Jem up there. There we go. We got the shell. Okay, okay. I thought I had tried that, but I guess not. So, shell, uh, you go here. Open. Oil. What needs to be oiled? Like, is it just these? Okay. It's created some embers. Oh, I see. Left, right, left, left, right, right. Okay. He left. Did that do something? Might not have done it right. Oh, I. There we go. Key. Open that. Ah! Baby fetus! You can't do anything with this yet. Oil? No. Ink? <gasps> Okay, why? I tried it, it worked, but why? Las tijeras. Scissors. What are we cutting? What are we cutting? This is done. Has to be. Is there something to cut in these? Like... Anything need to be snipped? Not that I can see. Do you have anything that needs to be snipped? No. Hmm. Oh. What? Why? I used the scissors this... Okay, no, I must have just clicked on it. I, I just clicked on it with... I don't know. Your mouth is now open, sir. Eyeballs. Cool, we love it. Oh, it's the crow. Sup, Mr. Crow. All right, that was chapter three. We're on to chapter four. Okay, interesting. There were some things there that I wasn't sure if I did them or if they just, I don't know. But I love those kinds of puzzles where it's like the big puzzle box and whatnot. That's always cool. Got a gear. Can't do that yet. Okay. Gears. You need some kind of light and some kind of pipes. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to need another pipe here, right? Unless it can just fall. Yeah, no, I'm going to need something else. But I'm as close as I can get. Dude, the music. Getting tense. Someone about to show up and scare me? <gasps> Harvey's box! Harvey's box! Okay, this is where the gears go. I don't have them all yet. Okay. Well, hello, Mr. Deer. You will be important later, I think. Uh, okay. Um, crossbow. <laughs> crossbow! <laughs> Crowbar. Oh, man, that's hilarious. Ah, uh, excuse me? H.R. Giger walls? Whoa, whoa, why blood? Why blood with the Giger walls? Okay, um, what else we got? Still the crowbar. Okay, this is something for later. It's gotta be- Ah! Ooh, no! The head was taken so that now it's gonna belong to a part deer creature. All right, this looks like a spot for a big one. Wait, is that the biggest one? No. Let's, uh, this music is scaring me. Like I'm gonna, like suddenly we're in Five Nights at Freddy's. I keep getting bleed damage. Oh, there he is. Shadow Monsterman. I really hope that I'm not like in danger. 
This looks like it goes here. This looks like it goes here. I'm just looking at like the relative distances between these things. Okay. That's stripping. Stripping in here. It's too late. The opposing powers won, but the late gives me another opportunity. This time I have to be faster. What? Okay. You, you, you. Grab all this. Grab all this. Okay. Open you. Uh, boom. Boom, boom, boom. That was scary. So I'm guessing that maybe it's possible to do that on the first try and maybe not. Like, it could totally be one of those things of like... Okay. I know what I did wrong. Maybe it's the number of times you turn. Oh no. Here comes the music. Still not sure what I need to do here. But we'll knock him down anyways. Okay. Open, open. Here we go. Alright. Cogwheels. Alright. We go little, little, biggest, medium, little, biggest, or that size. Okay. Then we go over to this. No, not to the deer. Go to you. White this this time. Elevator. Can I go? Light it. Why can't I get in? Okay, cool. Uh, go. Go. Go, please. Bye. Jeez. Jeez. Wow. Okay. The end. Finally, I reached the lake. I could not feel my body anymore. The time felt different to me. Like it did not only live that moment, but also my past. All my memories captured in little cubes floating around the lake. Okay. The cubes are memories, which makes sense. It's like trauma. All right. Four more secrets in that one that we missed out on. So um, this will probably be the end of this chunk um, that was longer than I thought in some places and shorter than I thought in others. This was probably what, like an almost four hour video. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed. We will do the other half of the Cube Escape games. And then, like I said uh, earlier, we, and when it comes to like the secrets, we will do a final episode at the end where I go through all the secrets that we didn't get. In that instance, I will be using comments. I will be using guides. We will be doing it just to see it for like lore purposes. I'm not going to sit here and bash my head against the wall to try and like learn all of those. So just letting you know. But man, oh man, finally catching up on the early days of Rusty Lake. I love this series so much. Um, ready to finish all of it. And I really want to try and get maybe Chrissy to play the two player one with me and then we'll have the whole collection done i think on my channel which will be super cool to be able to have that um and i'll see if maybe we revisit some of the earlier ones maybe we go through and we play all of them again to get like lore implications because like i said i want to make a lore video um because of how vague and just weird and interesting this game series is but um, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, of course, drop a like, subscribe if you're not already. Um, I hope you had a, a, a good time here on the Price channel. Please, please, please push it, let people know about it. And don't forget to go watch my FNAF lore video. Gosh darn it, I spent so much time on it. Um, and most importantly, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I have been Price, and I will see y'all next time.